Adam and Wack, and we back, and we got a couple of. Wait, hold on, bro. What? Wait, you want to no, do the no, intro? No, bro. Last week oh, right. it was Adam and Wack. <laughs> this week it's the Wack and Adam show. Okay. You know, f all whatever's shit, gonna bro. make you, know you know happy, buddy. All right. You know, yeah. yeah, like you know, I'm really on. <laughs> man, I've been watching uh, Nat Turner and and and, 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 and <laughs> Rosewood and. Shit. They say I look like Vin Rames. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Don't be yeah, trying to yeah, take yeah, nothing to see that. I'm the brother. This week, the brother come first. Oh, wow. All right? See, I'm fresh I'm fresh off Hawaii, so I don't have, like, the intense WAC 100 energy right Did now. Did you go out there and help the people? No. Did you do just, better than Biden the $700 check? Laying in check? the sun. Huh? No, I didn't do anything to help anyone. You didn't go help anyone. That would have been Next nice. Next year, you spent some money, right? Yeah, yeah. So you helped the economy. That's a different island. Then we're you spending, spending, spending money mostly with, like, the big corporation yeah, that owns the resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody pointed it out to me. You're swimming in the same beach that there are dead bodies from right over there. I'm like, well, that is a good what point. What you mean, dead bodies? Well, like, like what? Hundreds of people died over there, right? In the beach? And they jumped in the water or something? Well, I think. Yeah. I don't know exactly what how happened? it worked. They, they got washed away. I'm not oh, sure. They got forced in the water. The fire ran them in the water. Yeah, there's a lot of people that oh, they so haven't identified the bodies. They down and pushed a lot of see, people. Start jumping in the water. ain't having nowhere to go. Yo, oh, so listen. Crazy. Today, this is a oh, very special interview. Totally Quite right. naturally, we got Adam. The founder <laughs> and old owner <laughs> of No Jumper. You know what I'm saying? We got my, this is, uh, this is one of the godfathers of Clubhouse. This him. is my, one of my teachers, my man Sam Beto. He been blocked off of Clubhouse, Damn, banished off like of me. Clubhouse. But every time he come back, his rooms be 2,000 deep. He run his, he wanted, he's a very funny person. And he has like, I don't know what his setup is. He has a whole library on everybody. Yeah. And I made him my friend because I know he got a library on me. Yeah. So, yeah. I said, he's yeah. going to be friend of folk. Right Let's now, start there. And we Tell got, us about Y100. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got TQ Hatch. What's good? What's good? This is Bootsy's slightly big brother. Yeah. yeah. Sa same mother, same father. Same mother, same this father. This the one ran off with the five million. Yeah, man. <laughs> we going to figure out where this we figure out who the villain. Now, Bootsy, I know you where money Bootsy gonna be mad. He called me three weeks ago about the Kodak Black from a two two five number. He called me right, I and that, I didn't. Bro. I didn't listen, man. Bootsy, what he said, bro? Tell me what he said. He told me that I know better, but I know that I was just handling business. But he thought the man stood on business, and I was like, "Well, goddamn." You went over there and made amends with Ti. Once you called Ti a rat, once you said these words. When you seen that man, it wasn't supposed to be no negotiations. I said, yo, cut it out. And then Kodak told me to give him a message. Kodak said, tell him the day after you went to jail, you put your Rolls Royce up for sale. Maybe you need to go do a verse. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, man, I'm a, I'm but a nevertheless, civilian. I'm a civilian standing out of the street, man. Bro, they say you got the $5 million signature and you backdoored your brother. Now, mm -hmm. Adam, last minute, he pushed the button, he made it happen. Sam Beto, this right here is my and one of my investigative guys yep. on us trying to figure it out because we get to the bottom of the because truth, I man. understand, awesome. I think I know what happened because I'm, I'm in this awesome. business because eighty percent of the shit that signed with my name is not me, it's people that can sign my name. Exactly, man. It's it's it's. So did you? How much of the five million did man, you get? Man, I don't even know where you're going with this five million, man. Did he said he sent him for five million. No, he's suing. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Check this out. You're going young he, blue with it right away. He's suing. No, Bootsy is no, suing. No, no, no. This is what everybody need to understand. This is let's let's start here. Bootsy is suing Warner Brothers, OVO, Empire. OVO, what the drink? Uh, Empire, uh, Blue, my company Vice and Play. Shout out to all the Vice and Play artists. And for ten million dollars. Hold on, I sent you something to your but, DM. What was it? It was a signed document with Boosie name. I sent it to you. Remember, you put the eyeballs up. Did I? I don't know. Who signed I, that? I was bro. on the beach. I don't I know if I even looked said, at it. Wait, you signed it. You copied to it. You signed Boosie name. I signed. You got Boosie power name. Of I signed my name. I'm the co-founder of Badass Music Syndicate. See, that's what I wanted to get to. Boosie, are you on the court? You on the court? You open? absolutely. Oh shit! And I go. signed his. I started. Look, Boosie started off with badass ENT. Okay. If anybody follow Boosie, he used to be badass ENT. When he went to jail, Boosie went to jail for about five years. All right. Uh huh. 
while he was gone, man, this shit got out of hand. They had so many people just saying, I'm boosting new artists. Now, keep in mind, Boosie could not speak to the outside. He was in jail. He could not speak to the outside. So the reality became so many saying, I'm boosting new artists. I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm boosting new artists. This boosting new artists. This shit was running wild. They had created bad, badass NT Midwest, badass NT West. I'm talking about, and I'm going to him, visiting him. I'm, I'm like, bro, this shit, do you know these people, bro? I'm like, man, I can't keep up with it. So I'm say all, I say all that to say, Another thing that was going on is, first of all, I got a very pro professional network. So what was going I'm gonna on? I'm going to be real, bro. Go ahead. You have no presence on no f in the streets. Man. Your name. The only like, person I, I can respect the that. The only person that's ever, the only person that's ever claimed I stole from them is Boosie. And you know, I, I wanted to get to that because I think that's a, an important part of y'all's story. You know because I don't even know how y'all fix that issue. Because I know Boosie thing. never cleared your name he, on that, He right? never cleared my name. Yeah. And he never cleared my name. Wait, this is so previous to this? Man, this, this is 2017, bro. right? 2017. Oh, he really got the yeah. file. Okay. This is my man, Sam Bino. That's why I brought him. How we gonna rock out? How we gonna rock out? Dark side. Originate. How long do we... Do we... Let's not go there yet. Okay. Because that's a... Deeper than rap. That's very important. This is deeper than rap, bro. Okay. Oh, This is deeper than rap. But... This is how it ain't forgery, bro. Okay? I started, I go to Boosie and I'm like, look, this is out of control. On top of that, I got friends in law enforcement, motherfuckers in the DA office that's telling me, look, they got motherfuckers beefing, saying they badass CNT and, and young dudes that's in wars, all types of shit going on. Give it a bad name. And, and they, they talking about trying to paint it as a game. Yeah. When you get out, it can't be that. Some like YSL type. Some that's going on right now. So, through the glass, Which bro, is not a gang. F what Gunner say, that's a record label. Let's keep moving. Through the, <laughs> through the glass, I'm Come telling on, him, see, I'm, like, bro, I'm like, bro. I'm like, <laughs> Boosie, when you get home, bro, man, I, we need to rebrand the label. And I want to be able to sign different types of artists. Artists that don't sound like you. Artists that, that ain't talk, necessarily talking about the same shit as you. And... Let's rebrand it as Badass Music Syndicate. I explained to him that a syndicate is a, a complex organization bonded around business, all of that. Yeah. And Boosie just like, okay, yeah, I f*** with that. Man, let's do that. Let's do that. You, put, you put money and in it? Yes. Okay. So and, you invested in the company. And listen to what I'm saying. Hold on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. prior wait. to him TQ. getting out. That's important. TQ. Yeah. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Yes. You okay. Slid, I you have slid. my receipts, dog. So you okay. invested in the company. I have my receipts. Okay. Goddamn. So, Boosie, what the but, fuck but, is but going is, on? But let's talk about signatures. Before Boosie gets out, I create the company. Create the articles, articles of incorporation. And at that point, I, mean, I so. signed my name. And I signed Boosie's name. Which has always been the business relationship. I understand that. The business relationship between me and Boosie is I go to him, hey Boosie, they got this promoter. He want how much you want for this show, bam, bam, bam. How much you want for this deal? They gonna pay you the post, bam, bam, bam. Oh, oh, I need this, I need that. All right, I'm gonna go back to him. All right, he say he can do it. What you want me to do? All right, go ahead and lock it in. Let me know, make sure the money. So it's come many documents you signed. And time. then. I've signed over f every show. If you're watching this, every show you've seen Boosie in your, every time you've seen Boosie in your city, Boosie did not sign the document. Either myself, um, when I was managing, or somebody else signed that document. The only way Boosie signed any type of document is if somebody pulled up on them Hold on. and they got the shit. Hold on, Sam, what, so, what you got to like, you, now, I just wanted to know, because were you Boosie's first manager? Because I think that's important for the people. I mean, to know, technically, so. yes. Yeah. Man, shout out to Ball. So you've been around day head. one, like type Pretty of thing. Pretty much day one. That's yeah. his brother. I, I've been yeah. I've been with Boosie since ghetto stories. Yeah. I've been with Boosie. I was on a road with Boosie and Webby. I was one of the people on the road with Boosie and Webby through Trill from the fucking beginning. Yeah. We was getting twelve hundred dollars a show, hopping in my mama Kia Rio, going to Yazoo City. Uh, Mississippi, going to all of these small fucking towns. The chilling market. Fucking right. The chilling market. Yeah. I, I say that because when I first heard about you, it was kind of painted like, yo, my brother stole from me, but it was never like, yo, he's a manager. You feel me? He's part of the business. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's, it's, it's good that you're clearing it up because people watching, they don't even know. Like, now, you've been managing Boosie for that long. Now I got to play devil's advocate. 
I got you know I fuck with you know didn't I take long Boosie, right <laughs> no I gotta fuck with I gotta sit I gotta I'm like I'm boosting this seat I'm gonna tell you one of the problems I have with Boosie interviews is everybody throw them softball questions nobody asks the fucking mm. hard Boosie, questions you gonna have to pull up I be strolling I be scrolling I be like man why is Vlad not asking this motherfucker because Vlad because they're got, homies Vlad got you know twenty interview homies they got anyway, a business so, relationship so my Joe, question bro, with you is this. <clears throat> Young Blue was signed to Badass, right? Correct. Okay, great. So Badass was doing the deal with Empire. No. But we got to no. talk about the original signing, no, no, right? No, no, because no. how much were you involved in that? No, hold on. Hold on. Don't matter. Before we get Young to the Young Blue was the signed Empire, to Badass, so. right? Yes. Okay. So if We still have a deal with Young Blue. And that is where Boosie is misleading Wait, wait, people. wait. I'm asking you. Yes. The deal with Empire, the, the the initial negotiations started with Bootsy and Empire, or you nope. and Empire. Nope. Empire came in one well, later. How right? did Empire can't do business with Blue? You going you're without skipping, doing you're business with Badass? Off. I signed I signed Blue in 2016. You to what? You got it to Badass. You okay. got to realize that, how long was he's that? Been. Primarily you that had the idea to sign him, or did Bootsy yes, meet him man. before it don't you? Matter. No. It don't matter. Badass but is Blue a company. Say that, though. It's I Badass is a company. Blue, I went through my artist submissions. I still go through my artist submissions, and I and I found and. Blue, okay, great. Blue. Let's get back to the to no, the. No, no, no. Listen, what I'm saying. <laughs> Hold on, but bro. Don't, gotta you don't gotta rush it. We got Blue hours signed, here, but <laughs> Blue was signed to Columbia before he was. There was a whole nother deal. Oh, really? That was. Blue was signed to Columbia before Blue Badass. Was, no, Blue was signed to Badass. I signed Blue to Badass. This is when I signed the artist. I know that my brother is not ready, gonna put up no money. So this is this is my strategy. Sign an artist, grow him, develop him, and go find a label partner to put up the money that I know Boosie ain't gonna put up. That's cool. And I try to do it as soon but as possible. But he still signed the badass. He's who? Blue. Blue is not we still we have, this this is what you need to understand. We agreed to restructure Blue's deal to make it non-exclusive. And there was a reason for that that we have to talk about. Yeah. So that contract that Bootsy put up. Is that's what he's talking about. Where his about. signature is on there was a contract between Empire no. and Badass. Nope. Who was that between? That was the restructuring of Blue's contract. Okay. That we agreed to. Me, Bootsy, and Blue sat down and you got to, man, it's, it's, it's No, deep. it ain't. We right here. All it right. That deep. So look, let me tell you. So Bootsy was, I mean, Blue, Blue was signed to us. I go and do the Columbia. You keep deal. saying was. He is still right now. He it's a non-exclusive deal where we get 50% of three albums of our okay, choice. So that on paper, is that that on is on paper. That's okay, on paper. So he signed. So he signed. Yeah. And the problem is Boosie is acting like he ain't we don't have a deal in place. Like we don't get nothing. I'm gonna tell you what Boosie got the problem. does not get nothing though. But it is the record label. We got to do record label business. Hold on. Hold you on, TQ. Saying? It's WAC 100 you're talking ahead. to. Go ahead. Run it. Okay. <laughs> and Bootsy, if, if Blue was signed a badass. Yes. Okay. Empire has to do that initial business with the indie label. It wasn't. He. No. no. Three albums. You just said three albums. No. Listen to what I'm saying. This one of the three I'm albums not, Bootsy agreed I'm, I'm to, right? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Look, bro. You, you dancing on the you yes or no, TQ. You may be right, but this is what I'm saying. No, no. We restructured before Empire came into the and the, and the look, And the restructure was three albums. It probably was ten albums, whatever no, it was before. No, 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 no. The it's, restructure was to make it non-exclusive so that he can find somebody to put up the money because he went, to, he came to Boosie and said, bro, after I'm released, from, I'm about to get released from Columbia. Columbia has this dude named Lil Nas X. It's going crazy. I am no longer a priority. Bruh, once I'm released from Columbia, I go, I revert back to the original badass. Badass. Badass is in place anyway exactly. with Columbia. Exactly. And this is, look, exactly. But this is the this is where Blue is trying to be loyal to Boosie. He is being advised by Rock Nation affiliates that he can get out of this contract. They all do that. They all the do that punk shit. Do. That's the first thing because they guess do. what? Without without badass, nobody would have been fucking paying attention to Blue. Whether it's you or Boosie, whatever it is. Listen to what I'm saying. That's the first thing they do. He was being advised, and but since he didn't do I that. Did the contract, mm -hmm. and we didn't give him an advance. We didn't finance any of the records. 
We didn't he didn't no pay for none of the videos. He didn't do nothing. Man, man as many as vi videos as Blue, Blue had before he even went to Columbia, none of them were paid for by Boosie. Did you pay for it though? No. I paid, no, no. I didn't pay for it. But Blue, Blue didn't do nothing. Blue said you put money up. Can you I put that? money up. Most of my money was spent on marketing. So most okay. of my money was spent on social media ads. And the name of Badass uh, Entertainment or whatever correct. it is. Correct. Okay. Correct. Did social Boosie give you that money? No. Well, some of that your was, money made through Boosie listen, business. Listen, listen, listen. What you mean? Business that you've done for Boosie. This, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying Boosie is not old anything. Uh -huh. I'm saying okay, we okay. are old. According to our agreement. So you telling me when that wire went out, you didn't get nothing? That's the problem. And that's where I'm that's why I'm finally speaking up. I'm trying to let people know that Boosie is trying to fuck me TQ. out of it. TQ. Anything. Did you what get wire? what wire are you talking about? The wire empire sent out that Boosie's no, claiming went out. No. Did you and get any of that thing. wire? Nothing. Was there any letter of directions made, that went I to you? I have not made a dime. So off it all of the went Empire to blue. Again. Yes. Because and and so that's that's what Boosie need to. I don't well, know. Let me tell you why that's he, fucked up. I don't know if he believes that. It might be. No, I'm gonna tell up. you why. No, no, why follow me? I'm finna lace you. When you have an artist, right? And you spend money on this artist. One year, two year, three year, whatever. Whatever it adds up to, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever it adds up to, right? And your indie company goes and gets a deal, right, with a distro. And a distro say, okay, we're going to do a deal for $2 million, right? And let's say your contract with this artist reads, for the first album, you're going to give them an advance of a quarter million dollars, right? And you already then spent a hundred, right? That two million has to go to the indie company, right? At that point in time, the, the artist, the contract that that indie company has with that artist they have to release then, okay, first album, quarter million dollars. Most most of the times, niggas like us, the hundred we spent, we don't even hold it against them, right? We issued the 250. Now, at that point in time, we got to go get the album done, the features, the production, mix, mastering videos, all this shit. They're turning a complete project. Whatever that takes, the difference of that usually stays with the label. We do other things. We're going to buy cars, put them in places to live, jewelry, shit that we got to do to make them looked apart, right? So if they sent the whole two million straight to Young Blue, then the label is not in position to recoup what they spent or do the things that they supposed to do on the marketing promotion side. Because if it wasn't for your efforts and Boosie's name, right? Promoting, he wouldn't have been in that building. The situation wouldn't have happened. Can we agree on that? I agree on that. And like I said, I'm not saying. So why that, did you forge a signature? Saying, I'm not saying that we are not old. I'm saying that we are old, Boosie. When you read and, the but contract, the pro but the problem is, the problem is, this. You never got a dime. We establishing he never got because we thought you got some money from the. No, wire. I never got any money, got man. You. I never every Whack. every is, is I've it, never received real, real any money though. from Empire. I did not negotiate Empire Blues deal with Empire. Oh, you didn't I am that. on the badass side. Everything that I every every executive decision that I made was to be shoulder to shoulder with Boosie. We about to be slim and baby. Manager still to this. No, day. you're not. Okay. Fuck no. no. Okay. No, bro. Me. I haven't talked. I haven't had a decent conversation with Boosie in two years. No, I'm just talking about Boosie. I'm Blue. talking about Blue. No. So let me ask you a question: <laughs> Who advised you to sign that contract? Because Boosie was in the hospital no, sick or no, something, right? No, 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 no. What was the, he at? We don't know where Boosie got that uh, timeline from. What was it he at? It wasn't. None of that is true. So where was he at? Nigga, he was free, right? Yes. So it's why? A, look, bro. This, look, what attorney you, did it go to to where you had to you sign? You have it? to, you have to understand our business relationship. Listen to what you're saying, Wack, on what we were supposed to do. Okay, I'm what 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 you're not understanding is, it's a, hey, Booster, can you get on the phone? You need to be on this conference call. We need to watch the budget. We you handle watch, it. You have to be on top of this shit. Okay? He's gonna tell you to handle it. Boosie's not available. Boosie don't give a fuck about this shit. And he and this is the thing. You got to realize shit has slowed down for Blue. 
Boosie did not like that Blue was up there with Dream Chasers and, you know, fucking with Meek and shit like that. Why not? That was great promo. I'm just trying to tell you. Yeah. Boosie was not So Boosie was hating with, on the nigga a little bit. He wasn't hating on him. He wasn't hating on him. He just wasn't fuck. Boosie got be having his own shit going on all the fucking time. Okay, that's time. great. But let's get back but, to the business. But TQ. on the business side, yeah. what needed to happen when we were doing when we were restructuring? We we have we have we sit down like this, man. Blue Boosie, hey look, he can get out of his contract because we didn't do X, Y, and Z. I get that. Okay, instead of us not getting anything, let's let somebody else put the money up. And then we come back and just collect. Okay? Let me ask you this real yeah. quick. Legally, can Blue go ahead, make his money, and not give y'all a dime and be okay? If it's a 50-50. Legally. Legally. It's, it's yes or no, bro. A it's yes or no. Bro, I'm not a fucking attorney. That's the shit that they You know got, your that, contract, bro. It, it's a non-exclusive. Cause, cause, yes. Cause, it was the, the so whole yes, point. So, yes, he can. He the can. Whole point. So, you don't need to give y'all shit. Boy, no, shit, no, no, three no. Albums. No, he owes... The the label is owed fifty percent, but that's his old the shit rev- though. No, no, the new he gave one. us the, the old stuff. The new, that's he the gave new us one. the old. So we got the old stuff. Yeah. So me and Boosie should be trying to run that up. Yeah. Okay. All the old, the content. old, old content. All the yeah. old shit, right? Yeah. And at that time, this is prior to the Drake. Y'all need to understand this. Prior, this we got to talk about the Drake effect too. This is prior to the Drake record. Yeah, we restructured prior to the Drake record. Okay, if the, Drake, the Drake record, was, record happened, y'all was already restructured. We were already and and he, the the Drake record, he was already we we already restructured. And when we restructured, to my knowledge, there was no dealings with Empire nowhere else. It was, man. If Boosie don't want to put up money, I got this private investor out of Nashville. I can go to somewhere like the Orchard, maybe an Empire, something like that. It wasn't no certainty. So who set up? Who set up the, the Empire deal? Badass no. had to be part of it for you to sign the contract. I didn't to sign it. the. T- I didn't sign anything related to Empire. I only signed. So the contract Boosie putting up is a restructure. The restructure. Deal. So he ain't show no. So the contract with Empire, was it direct with Blue or was badass and I corporate? don't fucking know because I didn't do it. You never seen it. I didn't have nothing. I'm on the badass side, which is what I'm trying to tell my brother. I'm like, nigga, you suing me, nigga. It's supposed to be us. We supposed to be, if anything, So you them. never signed the Empire contract. No. This is a good interview because everybody yeah. thinks, that's, everybody that's thinks. No, a lot of I did not sign the Empire contract. contract. I did not negotiate the, uh, the Empire oh, contract. So you don't even know I the terms not, of it. I don't even know the terms of it, which is what I've been trying to tell my brother for two years. Oh, no jumper, baby. We get to the facts. I brought my man Sam Beto on the like, clubhouse to figure this shit out. Is, I'm like, is this what you and Boosie fell out over, though, or was there prior attention? Nah, there was there prior. was a prior attention, but we we, but we and made good I think good that's very it. important. I think we, we should have that conversation. We, gotta, we, we y'all made talk good. about that. You we know about that? that you, yeah, I know You seen with no paperwork, and you seen with no paperwork. Yeah, I know it. And it's some shit with paperwork. I don't know paperwork. Yeah. You feel me? But Because I don't think y'all got over that. Is this the one where I, he I said... Mean, you can say y'all got over it, but... Sam, you, is this uh, where they said he man, sold 350000 Yeah, from yeah, Oh, I from read that. That was you? What you do with the three fifty, nigga? Um... I don't remember, man. I blew that shit so fast. I'm just <laughs> They gonna love that. They gonna fucking love that. I was like, what the hey, fuck? We <laughs> say, oh, oh, we oh, 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 the moment right now. Hey, look. Hey, look. They gonna love hey, that. Oh. My, my life is no entertainment. So. Go ahead. So, do you, so that's where we going? Yeah, because I, I, right, so I, 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 that's I, on you, Sam. Yeah, I, I really think you're not over that. And you know why I say you're not over that? Man, I'm not, I haven't bounced back from that. Yeah. That shit hurt a lot of my people. He never people ain't gonna your trust name. you either with that shit. All of us ain't gonna trust you. He need, he need to. Man, but, not. But, but no, no, no. No, but but he was. There was no fucking was reason to believe I did that shit. Nigga, your brother said you stole from me. But I don't give a fuck. That ain't no reason for him to believe. That's look, your bro, brother, scammers. bro. I be, look, I don't want to diss no scammers because don't come after me. But scammer scam. And and Boo's supposed to be a street nigga, and right? I know that. Street, Niggas make over a million dollars off hey, Blueface and Game look, Name listen to every what I'm year saying. doing fake contracts, getting up front money. It listen it to what nice. I'm saying, though, bro. Scammer scam. Boosie, no damn well, never in our life have I come to him with a scam. 
I don't. You niggas don't just jump off the porch and scam. So where is he getting you? Where, Man, so his, no. his name was cleared by the laws, though. So, like, I know for a fact they refused he, the charges in in, he, in almost He was not three charged weeks. for that, right? He was cleared. So it must but not the thing been is, no email trail or nothing to him. But the thing is that no, because Boosie, I didn't fucking do it. Boosie never oh. cleared his name. So think about it, whack. I think he's been holding that against Boosie. I ain't got nothing against Boosie. I want to reconcile. I, I miss my brother. Yo, yeah, bro. I miss, I miss your, my brother. Your brother, Bo- I miss my like, brother. Like, I miss my brother. Here's the thing. Let me say but this. But my brother is is he? No, bro. This is It's like it's like. Yeah, that's your brother. I'm pretty sure you love you love Boosie, right? But Boosie has a platform, bro. Like, you're not, you like low key, you know what I'm saying? You do your thing. You're not out here trying to be famous. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, no, you this low the first key time, like a motherfucker. This is the first time I'm seeing you come out. Because, because you got a clear I've name, never, right? So, but hold on real quick. I, I'm this saying. This is my first but, interview in almost 16 years. Yeah. My, my first, like, I just started doing yeah, interviews. How did you get but, to me? Who did you have called my goddamn nigga? My Ashley, goddamn wife called me. Ashley, um, <laughs> Chick name Ashley, you know. Huh? Oh, Ashley. I don't know. I ain't no telling. Me? She networked like I never. Okay, cool. but, she but, got but, right cool to chick, me though yeah. immediately. But people cool from LA. It's like it's like essentially, Boosie has a big platform. If he comes out and he says, "Yo, my Dude, brother stole from me," that. everybody gonna believe it. So I'm saying That's the real. fact the fact that he I never declares your name, I, I think you holding that against him. I'm not holding nothing against. But what year them. was that? 2017. This 2017 happened. But Look, you bro. y'all did more businesses, yes, then, right? Man, when I came back, I came back around in 2018. But this is what I want to say. That same platform, that same community, that badass community, I'm one of the people that's behind that community. I'm okay. one of the, like, my team is making the memes that make people be like, man, Boosie, the ultimate hustler, like, that's some deep shit, man. Like, like I'm still, like, I'm the fucking whiz. I'm the whiz. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm behind the scenes for a so whole wh- bunch of shit. Why did he think, was it monies that was collected was Man. it was it was it people faking like they was booking shit for Bootsy? No, bro. Well, where did it come from? The three hundred fifty some thousand. Somebody, somebody hit Bootsy's account for over three hundred thousand. At one time. Over a course of thirty days. Okay, what that got to do with you? These people said that Bootsy put them up to, and I don't, and I'm saying, and this is based off of. Because that was my first time really being arrested. This is based off me reading my arrest report. Oh, they arrested you for this shit? Yeah, but I, I ain't dressing in or nothing. Yeah, like yeah, that. Did I Boosie, never, you know did what I'm saying? Did like, call the cops on you type listen, of thing? Man, listen, you tell me what... I'm going to tell you what... You tell us I'm going to tell you my experience, and y'all, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all mm-hmm. think happened. Yeah. Okay? All right? So, Boosie... There's some real white boy shit going on. <laughs> Boosie, uh... So Boosie calls me one day saying, man, they fucking hit my account, whatever, bam, bam, bam. I, I pull up. I'm just manager shit. All right, man, what's going on? All right, pull up to the bank, whatever. So I'm like, we sitting down with the bank. I'm like, man, they're going to they gonna figure it out, whatever. I go sit with fucking NOPD for over two hours to get a police report. I'm just doing manager shit, right? Yeah. Eventually, and Boosie's like going off on the internet. Capital One owed me my money, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like... You know, whatever. There had been people doing the shit that you're talking about, acting like they a uh, manager, that happens. acting like yeah, that, happens. that happens. But it wasn't that, okay? But the state police and the Secret Service started asking, because Boosie had just moved to uh, Atlanta or something, had asked to, for, for us to come in. Each time they asked me to come in, I'm thinking like, oh, they about to tell us, oh, yeah, we found who did this, bam, bam, bam. I'm green to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, I think it was the third time Boosie happened to be in town. But when we can't, when they interviewed us, again, me and Boosie thinking that, oh, now they found who it, that you about to get your money back, hopefully, yeah. bam. We sit down at a table like this. There's two officers on the other side. They say, all right, let's cut to the chase, basically. They say, Boosie, we believe that you are doubling down on your money and to quarry, we believe that you are, are are helping them do it. That's what they told both of us. Mm-hmm. What's doubling down on your money? So this is what they're saying. Scam. This is what they're saying. Every account is insured for a hundred thousand. I believe business accounts might be a quarter me. Could be a little off. So what people would do is they give somebody their information. Steal the money out of my account. So let's say it's a business account. He takes out three hundred thousand dollars, right? And they'll tell, okay, you keep 150, give me 150 in the duffel bag. 
And then the owner of the account turns around and files a claim and say, my account was robbed. And the insurance of that account will give back the entire up to $250,000. So they're saying that Bootsy or somebody from they, his camp. That's what they told yeah, you know what Bootsy I mean? and myself to our face, bro. But how could they prove that? Did they have Man, one of them? Man, I don't... Bro, but, but look, you, listen, you, you, bro, you I don't know say, how this shit works. I don't know how none of this... How but you said, scam, I don't know so how... So why did they cuff you? Listen to what I'm saying. So, anyway, maybe like a month or so later, they called... So, once they said that, I started, you know... Putting together, you know, everybody that has DM me say, man, this person scammed me. This is the number they did it from, whatever. And I'm putting together shit to give to them to, you know, to fucking try to find, to try to find out who, you know, help them. Because they acting like, they acting like they don't know what the fuck they got, they, you know, what's going on or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so one day I go up in there to interview. Again, I'm not bringing a lawyer because I know I haven't done nothing wrong. And there's no way. They're going to charge. They're going to figure this shit out. Yeah. This shit, it, there has to be a trail, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, whenever they ch charge me, the first thing I did was I sent my arrest report to Boosie. I'm like, Boosie, bro, they just arrested me. They might be, you know, I'm, I'm like, bro, hit me back. They might be about to arrest you because- they're saying this, both of y'all. They're saying both of us, and yeah. they just arrested me. So why did he just put it out? It was you. Boosie immediately goes to the internet, and this is this shit hurt me to this day. This shit hurt me to this day, and I don't understand why, knowing how he is. There's a couple things I don't understand about this shit. I don't understand, because in that fucking arrest report, it said, this person got 40000 on this date in this city at this bank. This person got they was hitting the. They was that was the first time I knew what was what account it was. They was walking in getting it. Man, they were they were wiring and and I don't even know how they allowed that shit to happen over the phone. I didn't even know you can do wires like that over the phone yeah. if that wasn't typical of the account. So I feel like it was somebody in in house at Capital One. To be honest with you, yeah, a supervisor. Definitely. Because how you letting wires go out like that anyway? But anyway, but I send this shit to Boosie. I'm like, bro. Look, this person got this, this person got this, this person got this. And look, they here they are again saying that you put them up to it and that that I drove to fucking Columbus, Ohio. Did they Ohio catch and, any of these people? Absolutely. fucking lully And these and, people gave statements against you and Boosie. Some of they, them. They did say you them, and Boosie was involved, some right? Some of them, nigga, I, bro. The, Could they prove bro, any? I can post. They had to have some correspondence. Hey, look, yeah. look, if people want to take, if anybody wants to man I could post the shit. Yeah. You know, I don't give a fuck. But what fucked me up was Boosie never blasted these people. And that's his MO. Why he ain't say, hey, to all my fans in Ohio, because all this shit was like in Ohio, all Dayton. These Columbus. people went to jail, they got charged. It was saying that some of them are currently locked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't look at that shit in a very long time. But it but Boosie never said Hey, if anybody knows Cheryl Jackson, that bitch got 40000 of my money, DM me. He never yeah. outed none of them people. Now, you know, TQ, you know, the hundred side, hundred side of the trenches we work, you know Mickey Truth is going to go pull this paperwork. What I just said? You got it? You still got it? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to pull the police report. We're going to see you what's going on. You said your part got expunged, right? No. Oh, they dropped it. Of course. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, they, so. they, they dropped the charges. Yeah. But that's when I realized, bro, you can catch somebody breaking into your house, and if they ha if they are willing to say that they they're really willing to testify in court so that you, you put them up to it, it's up to the DA to charge you or not. Yeah, they got to like, they got to show they got to show though some type of correspondence, some type of something yeah. to tie yeah, you into. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, what's the conversation but I'm saying you they can fuck Boosie, over though. you. They can why fuck over why you. Boosie wasn't ever arrested? Why you wasn't? Boosie? I don't know. You don't know shit, man. Man, I don't. But I also, man, bro, I don't. What's man, going on, bro? This the thing. Do you think Boosie has something to do with you getting arrested for that money? I don't know. I don't know. You think they went and talked to him first, and he told him how to let you? I don't know. Cause you know Boosie came out publicly and said you stole money from him. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't fucking know. What y'all think? Do you think what? he really believes that you stole the money, or you think he's just saying that? He you was know looking for problem. him. He was looking. 
for him. He was going to beat ran, your ass. He ran down on me. He, he ran, wasn't going to beat my ass. He was going to beat your motherfucking ass. So did you run when Boosie he ran down on you? I don't think... Be, I, I don't he think said you got away. You don't think he can whoop you? No, he said I ran like a rooster, which is fun as a motherfucker. That might be a man. No, he said he said I ran like a rooster, which I thought, nigga, I fucking laughed. Hold on. That shit So when he ran down on you, what did you do? Man, listen to what I'm saying. First of all... He don't never want to answer the question. <laughs> no, because y'all got it wrong, and you I, you really ain't you don't you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, <laughs> he's a badass all, agent. Yeah, yeah, you ain't a good agent, you can dog. Feel you it, coming right? up in here misinformed and no, 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 no. I'm not misinformed. He's a secret no, badass agent. That's what I'm saying. He so works for Young Blue. That, that shit. shit was funny. That nigga said I ran like a rooster, yeah. but this this was a <laughs> that's a rooster. <laughs> And that shit funny, Yo, bro. Imagine that's a nigga funny. running like a rooster, bro. Picture the used to a rooster running. Bro, that shit was funny. But listen, homie, roosters don't run out here. But this is what I'm saying, <laughs> 22 man. Is the 22 ster runs. Uh, we gonna say what chickens, goddammit. I'm the 22 ster. You know what I'm saying? That's roosters don't name. do no running out here. Oh, right, we gonna right. say you ran like a chicken. All right, nah, bro. There this, we go. Is, this is what was happening, bro. Yeah. It was, Boosie said it was, I ran down on them on Canal. Nigga, it wasn't Canal, it was Porridge Street. Porridge runs right in front of the Superdome. Oh, that was that. You, I thought he was talking about running up on Young Blue on Canal. That's what I'm saying. It. Bro, niggas got we it listen, wrong. We listen, oh. niggas. Is, Nick, I'm speaking now because I'm seeing so much shit being niggas, intentionally like misleading that, yeah. people. I feel like you we're feel giving me? you a voice right now because right. we're seeing that. Kind of, the, the, kind of, right? <laughs> You're kind of. Anyway, so look, Poydras, the run, the street that runs run in, in front, front of, of the Superdome, Superdome is a three lane street. I'm crossing at the light. I see a SUV in the middle lane. And three, four niggas hop out the thing. I see it. I'm already walking across traffic, nigga. My car is parked right there. I see Boosie and some other random niggas from high school that I'm like. That you know. That, yes. Okay, gotcha. Like, coming toward me, like hopping out of a, there's ongoing traffic. And Boosie has a bat. And I'm just like, of course I'm about to, man, well, if I'm, nigga. Nigga, I got a bag. I, I got, got a bag. Wait, hold on. Nigga, got that's what makes it. <laughs> they got a bag. Man, that's stranger than fiction. Boosie the truth. Bad ass. The <laughs> truth. He up to his day. Bro, look. So the truth is stranger <laughs> than fiction, bro. So that's actually true, bro. Yeah. So but, what did you but, do when you seen the bag? Man, I went to my car to get my fucking gun. Got you. Okay. Why would I? Why would I so stay in the traffic? So he up. You didn't and, run. And I want to say this, Boosie. Why you need a bag for your brother? Why you need a bath for your brother, Boosie? That ain't gangsta. Nah, because he thought Boosie, you stole around the cat from him, bro. It don't matter. Nah, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. matter. Call my if, hands. If, Call my hands. What? If you think your brother stole three hundred k from you, nigga, that's the moment I said, man, I'm about to start doing interviews. Cause that's not gangsta. For how long ago was that? So that was when you got to the car, did that? That raise? was the week of. That was the week of the uh, arrest. Did they freeze when you got to the car with the bat? Man, they didn't come all the way to the car. They, they were in the middle of traffic. Boosie know what's up. Wait, they, they arrested you before or after that incident? Before. Before, okay. Before okay, he had okay. already been arrested. Okay, so, this is why Boosie is thinking. I, so, yeah. And I said that because it's do I think he, if if he had something to do with it, I don't think he would have been that mad. So I do not believe he had anything to do with it for that reason. Because he would have known it was his play. Right, and yeah. he wouldn't have been that mad. That mad. So, so that's whatever the they only told thing. him, they really thought he was. But really, I don't understand. Whatever the cops told him about his brother. Whatever the cops told him about his brother, Boosie believed it. Yeah. But I don't know how he would believe it, because I'm I don't I've never at that time. But I'm saying, bro, but this is no he don't get a pass though. We didn't say get a pass. He no, don't get a pass to get to when because you got to the strap, niggas what happened stand, I've never gotten over even when I stood to gain. I've never if I'm there and it's my business, I do not let Boosie get over. You know how niggas pull up to the club and that bitch be packed and they yeah. be like try to get the promoter out of extra few thousand and yeah, shit like yeah. that. I'm like, nah, man, we ain't gotta get it like that. We'll just charge them more less. I've never fucked over nobody with Boosie to to even when I stood the game. So I yeah. he don't get no pass for thinking I did it without saying, "Bruh, why they arrested you, or why why they uh or why they arrested you?" You feel me? Yeah. If he would have, if I haven't got that courtesy, then with this other shit, I ain't got no cur. I, ain't, I haven't got the courtesy of man TQ. I think that was fucked up, bro. I ain't know we was we was gonna be letting him do that. Or I need more money, or like we still haven't had a three way conversation about because the nigga believe you wronged him. Well, fuck him. I don't matter. You it ain't. I did wrong him. That's your brother, bro. Nigga, it's fuck me. 
Wag, do you re- tell, tell no, what's going on? No, I said on. that for a reason. <laughs> tell this man. This, nigga, Boosie is literally, this the, is this the problem. This is why, and, and this is why I'm like, Boosie, call me. Boosie, let's talk. Yo, the interesting part let's is talk. the fact that after that whole let's thing. Let's fucking talk. That whole thing with the 300,000, like you said in 2019, y'all got back. That's when y'all 2018. Made it. it was December of 2018. I'm talking about when y'all had to deal with Blue. That was it, two we years started later, right? To, I came back around December of 2018. Okay, he had cool. finally built the house. Okay. He had the house for almost a year and a half. So, I had never been. So My at that point in time, he believed you didn't Christmas do it. Day, huh? At that point, he believed you didn't do it. You had nothing to do with it. Or he forgave you. Man, he, bro, he know I ain't do it. Did y'all ever bro, have gotta, a conversation? What did he say, bro? Come on. You can't be like... I don't remember. Oh, did he? Yeah, I don't. Whack. It was just you like, don't never whack, remember nothing. Whack, whack, nigga, come on, just, bro. Bro, y'all talking about doing? five years whack. ago. What we doing? Nigga Man, who we think we are, bro? This nigga, what pull, we doing? This nigga deflected. Fam. He pulling a Sir Major on him. You telling me you your the brother don't know you stole three hundred thousand dollars from him? And after right? a year and a half, after a year and a half, I clearly right? did not. All right. And, and what was the conversation that y'all had to come back to do a whole nother deal? It, it may it, it may just have been like text or something like that. It'd be like, man, I'm gonna come to the house, bro. Like I miss you. So type was shit he like just that. getting on? He was just letting it go. Maybe he just he pulled up with he a never bad, told bro. you he didn't believe you didn't do it. He just said you my brother. Fucker, we gonna keep moving. That's was his. I don't nah. I don't I don't remember he ever saying like. Did y'all? Ever we never talked about it. We never, never talked about it. So we, we just let it go. So y'all just just came back cool. But, let, yeah. but, look, but let's and get he let back, you around his money let's again. Let's get back to some things we did clear up. No, I've never touched his money again because that's the fucking problem. Like, okay. that's the thing. That's the that's thing. That's why you have to do an why, empire. Okay. That's why this time around I have safeguards to protect myself just in case he try to fuck me out of deals again. Because, yeah. like. Uh, you got to clear that up. Because So you've, you've not managed Boosie after that. Nah, not so really. So even Blue's Empire deal had nothing to do with nothing you. Nothing to do with You were just on paper on the badass side. I'm on the badass side, and that's where I am mentally. That's where I am with trying to talk to Boosie. Like, bro, we got to stay on top of this. He just got a feature from uh, Kaylani. Like, bro, I'm loving this album that he doing. Like, but we got to stay on top of this. We can't let him be getting no $150,000 video and shit like that. That's when I need you to be badass. I need you to, you know, but... So this There's shit a conference right call here, tonight, that type of shit. Like, this thing right here, mm-hmm. that's just the contract is, between Blue and Badass. The restructured, yes. This. To make it non-exclusive. This is what Boosie posted, Correct. but he got everybody thinking this is between the Empire deal. I guess so. I don't, I mean, I guess that's what he, we got people thinking. There you go. Boosie, you manipulating, boo. You my nigga, but this your brother. If he foul, he foul. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out why the nigga trying to run your name That's in what the I'm mud. trying to say, bro. The post that I made. Did that... you fuck his bitch in high school? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, bro. TQ. Nah, I'm right man. here, bro. Well, I did, came in the game with everything I want. I've always did, been, always had enough. one of his baby mama tell like, him bro, you tried to get out of look, But look, that's just like did when one of his that baby shit mama, happened. T- listen, he don't want Hell no. Nah, Something man. going on, bro. No, bro. I'm, bro. I'm, was your bike better bro, than his, me, nigga? Me and, me and him night and day, bro. Me and him night and day. That's just what, what it you is. you mean night and day? We He's just, the business guy. We just, no, I'm not just the business guy. We just, the I'm, business a lot, guy? I'm a lot like, like, I'm a lot like Boosie. I, I don't agree with how Boosie handles shit, but his ideologies, a lot of them, I, I'm, I'm in, are in line with what I All believe. Right. So right now, bro, if you can say something to your brother, because what we established is he had nothing to do with the Empire deal. Yeah. The, the contract Bootsy posted was the restructure between Blue and Badass, right? Yeah. Um, he was accused that of stealing. That he agreed to. Yeah. He, that he agreed to. Yeah. And that I locked in just like I locked in. He was in. accused Everything of stealing. Let's to. go to the timeline. Yeah. 2017. And you signed a signature for that, for, for Bootsy. Yeah. I for that a signature not, not for everything. That just had, that had nothing to do with Empire. I signed a signature yeah. That's for Columbus, Columbus and Indy, right? Okay, yeah. 2017, he was accused of stealing. Yeah. Um, And he was arrested, but no charges were brought. 2018, him and Bootsy came back together. Yeah. Right? And I believe this Empire shit is what, 2020, 2021? When was this? This alleged empire contract, because I know you don't uh, know about it. We discussed it in 2018, end of 2018. It took about a month or so, a uh, few months to, for lawyers to go back. So and money was distributed in 18? Why the fuck is no, you still talking? No, talk- no, 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 no. Listen what I'm saying. We started talking about him getting dropped. He wasn't dropped. He was, he was still under Columbia when we started talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, 
once we agreed to what the basic terms would be, it took a little while for our attorneys to go back. Well, let me correct get, you. Get he was being out. distributed to Columbia. He was under no, badass. He no. The the Columbia deal was a record deal that over it it over. Overrode, overrode, overrode the badass. So they was part. Oh, got you. They was part man. Got you. Okay. Right. Why well, the fuck that happened? I don't know. But I, I'm listening. That's the deal that we agreed. That's the deal with it, that we agreed. They must have gave y'all a bag. No, they didn't give us a big bag. Uh, why the fuck would y'all do that without getting a bag? It was. It wasn't that. It, look, bro. It worked. Everything that I did worked, nigga. Why are we talking about this? Because Blue made it. Why are you getting out of your body? <laughs> I'm just saying. No. <laughs> I know why you got on the hat, nigga. I know you got why you got on the hat. I ain't gonna say nothing though. Yeah, fresh cut. No, no, you know you're bald, going bald, nigga. I take it off. I know. You know how I know? I Cause I used to do that shit. See, I don't know why you get out your body, but I know why you got that hat on, nigga. So what you gotta do for me to you? You gotta come home, bro. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, gotta come home, nigga. I got the hat on take because that nigga, off. I niggas, bet you got patches uh, right here, right niggas, here. Niggas, I've been there. Listen, brother. I know. I know. Let me have a heart to heart contact with you. Oh, a con you conversation with you. The people when you talking to them. You ever notice their eyes going up? Because they know the number ones and all the shit you're doing, it don't work. You got to come home. Let's do it. Mr. Clean. Mach 3, Mach 3, What's and the guy? regular What's Walmart oil. You get out our business, white guy. I got he a question. Why, why is there a banana on your shirt? He don't know why is there a banana? About. I'm going to tell you why. Red banana? What the fuck is Creep that? Creep the guap thing. Red banana, new clothing line. But you want to represent the other people's clothing line. But when I come in here with the brother's clothing line, my artist, right? I'm just wondering why they it said found. banana. Red banana. I thought it said red they bandana. No, red first. banana. Do banana. you believe you people wake up and want to steal from Boosie? Be a bandana. You think, I don't think you, you stole. You think Boosie is a walking lick? Do you think every, no, I don't think you, you stole. Think I don't believe you stole. What you think? This is what I'm saying, um, bro. What happened? This is the what happened to Jewel House. I feel. I feel like what happened to what happened to the reality show. What happened to the what happened you, to it? You, you think, that was your business, right? Dog, it ain't. That's what I'm saying. It ain't like Boosie is fumbling the bag. Boosie is for Boosie is not the victim, bro. And that's what that's the that's the reason why I'm talking because I want the shit to well, stop. Well, Boosie doing what Boosie he wanted to do. Look, look, he got the right to do the business Boosie he wanted to do. Boosie and I were dealt the same hand. No, you weren't. Okay. He's a rapper. Listen, no, listen to what I'm saying. Do you rap? Nick, we grew up in the same house. Do you rap? Did you try same to rap? Same mom and daddy. But did you try to rap? No. The hand is what no, you be, start with. But this is what I'm saying. We're dealt the same hand, right? Yeah. A lot of people love my brother. My brother is a fucking legend for because he's the underdog. He started off as the underdog and then he kept overcoming. He overcame he overcame he got yeah, diabetes. Yeah, yeah. He overcame the, the the murder charge. He overcame the the uh cancer. That people love him Damn, for all of that shit. Too. Damn. Yeah, he overcame that. that. But let me tell you something. Boosie is not the victim, and I'm tired of seeing the shit. It was his Boosie money that a, was stolen. Boosie, nigga, he Boosie is, is a super villain, man, and I want him to just, nigga, just be a super Hold villain. Hold on, bro. Listen to what I'm saying. Why you calling him a villain? But this is, listen to what I'm saying. What we see listen don't make Boosie the villain. He's not the victim, bro. Boosie, for who this, man, Who account example, was violated? For example, TQ, for example. Don't, who account was violated? Example. You can talk to me. It's okay. Boosie, Just ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they do. They always... No, 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 no. Nah, but this... Nah. Whose account was violated? I'm talking about the artists and celebrities. Yeah, you none might want to start looking over there. <laughs> none, of these, none of these artists and these celebrity, celebrities are the victims, bro. Boosie got diabetes. Nobody, none of my aunts and uncles got diabetes. Boosie got diabetes because he was drinking lean. Okay? Boosie. Allegedly. Boosie. No. He admitted that, that a million times. Man, come on, bro. That's why he has diabetes because he was going hard on lean just like a whole lot of other rappers at a very young age. So he got fucking um, diabetes in his, in his 20s. That is self-inflicted. Okay? Gotcha. Him beating the murder charge. Nigga, that's self-inflicted. Right? If he, didn't do, if he didn't do yeah, it, how's that self that Because because I'm telling you, he running with he running with niggas that's doing. It. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with him. He got niggas up though. under him that's, that's laying in this house up under him. Allegedly. And then like I'm I'm just saying, bro, I'm just this this the shit that I'm like, why ain't nobody asking this shit when it comes to him beating cancer. Boosie got cancer because you saying he, put himself he was smoking in that situation. mojo. He was smoking mojo in prison because he couldn't smoke weed. And What's mojo? 
Nope. Synthetic fucking Oh, that weed. shit they call. What's that, that shit? That shit is call nothing it? but chemicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is that K2? Co- K2 type So, shit. of course, he Good ends stuff. up getting, they end up you finding early stuff? signs of mm-hmm. cancer. So, what I'm saying is, man. This All this shit been self-inflicted. I, the people feel sorry and, for and him. And even this whole thing with Boosie, Blue, and myself is all self-inflicted. Boosie is handling it the wrong way. Yeah. That's what it comes down but to. But let me ask you this, though. Like, from your perspective. Just try to be honest, right? I'm not, I'm not saying you a liar or anything. I'm just saying, like, just, just think. Just, shooter, you ain't got to do yeah. all of that. Why do you think Boosie thinks you and Blue are in cahoots? And Boosie even said. Because well, hold on, miscommunication hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, leads to complication. Because Boosie is. But let me finish, though. Go ahead. Because Boosie was like, yo, Blue, you're being played. Like, like you are in Blue's head. That's how Boosie was painting the picture. Why do you think Boosie's even going that direction, making it seem like you are the puppet master? Of this whole thing, why? I I don't necessarily agree with. I I didn't see that narrative personally, but um, the problem is, and Blue said this the other day, man. There's something deeper with my brother on a personal level between Boosie and myself. Gotcha. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. And with all of this shit that's going on, all of this shit is going on without Boosie telling me whatever fucked up thing he thinks he ain't had a conversation with you he he haven't asked bro why you did this you talked to his daughter she called you nah nah you in communication with her no you don't even talk that's your niece what the fuck you mean though man bro last time I DM'd uh, Tootie um cause I may have had a little situation somebody was interested in hollering at Tootie about uh, signing him or something like that man Boosie DM'd me Nigga, you nigga, you DM my son again like I'm a like something crazy. Oh, he don't want you conversation man, with his kids. Bro, this was sad, bro. He, this was man, this shit was yeah. like man. Bro, recent, so you saying your man. brother? Hates did a, you, bro. hey, you heard the like, diss song he did, bro? Boosie did a diss song on Ungrateful. the door. <laughs> I mean, I ain't listen to the whole thing. But you listen to some of it. I don't to agree with. Like I, don't, it. I, don't, nice, I don't. I don't. I don't listen to new Boosie. I don't. I listen to old Boosie, man. You listen to if you if you from the south, you know they got the old Boosie fan. I'm. I like the old Boosie fan. And I always that's that's it. But um, I don't agree with him doing shit like that, bro. Yeah. And I don't like how because that's even real. even like that, bro. His daughter gotta go. Gotta go to school. He's saying some shit in that song that's crazy. Yeah. That's, and that's even a, if it's true, song. his daughter got to go on. Like so Boosie's emotional. He does. He yeah, reacts. Yeah, yeah. He At does not point, have yeah. the emotional. He does not have the emotional maturity to have somebody career in his hand. If you, what should Boosie have done with Young Blue's career that he didn't do? Coming from your point of view, and Boosie, Boosie shouldn't have a record label. Boosie should have that a management like company. Hate, bro. Boosie should have a management company. That sound like hate. Boosie should have a management company because Boosie. So you believe, can run it. No, 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 no. Boosie believes that his cosign is uh is worth ten million dollars. He believes that uh he doesn't need to put up any money, and he he that way he can go in so and show money. Me, Boosie would make a. He needs to have a. He didn't never let them people open up for him. He never not, did no. Was, he not, never did no verses with him. He, he did. Never participated he got, he got in all video. of that. Blue on Vlad. On Vlad. He he he, he got blue. That was he, that's big. He got blue on Vlad. I don't know so if that really that, helped him in 2016, is, right? Like you got to you get your music popping management. before you do interviews, right? I'm saying right? that that's if you don't want to put no money up behind your clients, don't have a record label. If you don't want to finance records, don't have a record label. Boosie needs to have a uh, management company effective immediately. Would Blue have been Blue without Boosie? That's a real question. Mm. Blue was signed to Drummer Boy so before yes he was signed no. to yes. us. So yes or no, bro? Blue, I believe Blue would have made it. Okay, Blue, no, Blue, Blue, Blue okay. been making music. Okay. Blue no, but been did making Blue, music. Okay, did tying you or whoever tying him a boost and giving him a boost? Blue wouldn't have gotten with, with Badass if it wasn't for me. Blue's direct email was you. TQ. I know you handle all the business for Badass, and if yeah. I want to be work with Badass, you the person to hit up. Because where is the example where Boosie has found somebody and launched their career, even had, like, regional success? I will say this. I want to clear this up, too. Yeah. I know Ghazi very well. Yeah. Ghazi's a very humble man. You ever met Ghazi? Absolutely. Okay. I want to clear up the fact because I, I don't like the fact 
that Boosie keep dragging Ghazi's name. Yeah. And we all know that Ghazi is just that initial contact. Exactly. Ghazi makes himself accessible to everybody. And then whatever he may discuss the business, then he passes his exactly. own to the necessary um, divisions to, you know, same exactly. shit you do. Exactly. I bring you something, you like whack, put it together, and send it here, right? Exactly. So let's clear that Ghazi ain't in cahoots to shit. Yeah. Exactly. Ghazi's just a distributor, so, and he did a great so, job, because it looked to me like Blue made, they made some money off the project. So, but this is what I'm saying. Ghazi, Can you agree with that? Yeah. Ghazi's totally innocent with this I believe, shit. I believe, yes. There yes, we go. Yes, absolutely. It ain't, but this is where, how... This is how Boosie wants to operate. He wants it to be one way and it's another way. Boosie doesn't want to talk to Nima. He don't want to talk to Legal. He don't, he want to talk to Ghazi when Ghazi ain't even a person to talk to about this shit. The shit that's in question that we're trying to get done, Ghazi ain't even on the fucking conference call. No. So that is that is detrimental to that's detrimental to us. Watching the money and enforcing and getting what's owed to us because Boosie doesn't want to handle record business. And but that's what you were there for. But yeah. but this is the thing. Boosie is claiming that <laughs> Boosie is claiming that no, oh, I can't do shit. Or oh, I ain't shit. I don't believe I ain't that. done. Nigga, that's what it is. That's what this all balls are down to. Mm. Boosie does not Never believe y'all in route that. Yeah. It was about to be no slim and baby. I shit. got you, love. Yeah. I'm thinking it was about to be slim and baby. Minutes. You feel me? Yeah. And Boosie, what I, over time, this is what I realized. Boosie thought it can never be another Slim and Baby. But I'm just saying. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm why. just trying to give you something. That to brotherhood reference. is some shit I ain't never seen. Man, it's that. Man, no, that's different. I see what I, you're you saying. You know what though. I'm trying to say, bro. Yeah, I see what you're saying. We could have been the next COP and Coach K. Definitely. All but right. It takes some humility to get there, right? Like man, it takes a you, whole lot to get there. Yeah. But here goes the thing. And you got to make more than, more than one artist. Listen My thing is, story. Bro, I look, see bro, you. Listen. We work this shit out. Hold on, we got to find another artist anyway. Hold on, bro. We can find TQ. another blue TQ. TQ. in two weeks. TQ, here goes the I thing. I can. Here goes the thing. Because that's my skill. Yeah. TQ is a thing. When you mentioned Coach K and, and uh, QCP and Slim and Baby, I think you was giving your brother a credit that you knew that wasn't there. Listen to what you're saying. I see you as one of those roles. I see you as a team player. I see that. Meeting you, building with you, I can see that. If you was a bullshit, crafty motherfucker, I'd have detected it in you, right? But I think it should have been another party that Bootsy trusted working on the side of you. Because for some reason, like you said, Sam, yeah. something went on in your life yeah. to where it's he's deep, a little, yeah, he's a little deep, leery of you. I just started realizing yeah. that, man. I just started You know what I'm saying? That. Merely, man, I don't even care about the shit, bro. I just want... Like, he don't trust you, bro. He has... He has. He don't even got to fucking trust me, but he just... Yeah. Anything dealing with this boost, this blue shit, I got to get paid to. Yeah. When you get paid, I got to get paid to. I so can't... So you're, you're, you're a partner in the company. You got yes, a percentage. I set this shit up to where I can't make no money without him, and he can't make no money without me. Have you tried I to reach out to Boosie? How, how have you done that? Nigga, I just realized I... I, bro, I was blocked for a long, a very long time. Yeah, you we didn't had, know it. We had an exchange in a DM. Okay. We had an exchange in a DM. It didn't go well. There is no... There is no... Man, did you hear Boosie yelling at his at his daughter? Yeah. My bad. Nigga, that's the quality of conversation. Of Good most job. of the conversations. Okay. When, if 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 there has to be a if there has to be a difference of opinion. There's no family members that can step in. Older. Hell nah. Okay. Man, you know how this shit works. So Boosie listen, got the money. Yeah. Listen, hold on, Sam. This real shit. Cause I got a brother. I got two brothers. One of them dead. Rest in peace. Uh, big whack. But if you can, and this is real shit, because I believe when it comes to certain things, we got to put that pride shit to the side. And I'm hearing everything you're saying, and I believe that you being genuine and sincere. If there's anything you could say to your brother right now, right, to attempt to make amends, even fuck the business, mm -hmm. just as brothers, because we ain't promised them all. Yeah. And I don't know what Boosie has thought about or you thought about that, that phone call may come in one day and now you looking at your brother in a casket and there's so much you wish you would have said. If Absolutely. It's, if there's anything, is there anything you would like to say to your brother to either try to reconcile 
or at least these is my last words to you, bro. Even if you never speak to me again, this is my attempt. This All is coming right. from a brother that yeah. has lost a brother. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, what I, I want to talk to Boosie soon, and I want to just, I want him to understand that I, everything I've done, every move I've made, every time I've been at his house trying to pull him to the side, every time I've texted him, called him, or whatever, anything dealing with him, I've always understood that I worked for him, first of all. I, I and I respect that. Forty eight laws. You never outshine the master. I work for you. Got you. The and the other part about this is I'm only speaking after about sixteen years of of the of working with you. I'm only speaking because you know and I know you're lying about. I feel like you're bro, lying, and you bro, and it's this, dangerous. I TQ, feel like he's TQ, trying to TQ, mobilize his TQ, stupid fans to do something TQ, stupid. Listen, and this listen is about what I'm saying. your life. Like if you can no, say something. I gotta tell him that. This is what I haven't been well, able nigga, to tell him. Start a fight, man. But that's it, he look. So you don't want to tell your brother, I, I love and miss you. And well, no, like, no, no, no. Nah, he knows I love him. I, I, no, I'm asking what you no. want to. I would tell him, telling you what, but I, I can't make, I can't say it no different. You're a cold hearted motherfucker. Now go I got to, man, this, because, but, <laughs> go because, ahead, TQ. Man, you got, go but, on, TQ. Bro, y'all are taking it lightly what Boosie is doing. Boosie has, I just want you to be the bigger a brother. A lot of power. Yeah. I want you to be the bigger brother. I've always been the bigger brother. Because my big brother has dealt with some shit coming from me, and he's always taking the position of saying, of, of being the bigger man. To teach know, me how to be that. I I just want him to stop. I just want him to stop what he's doing. This this business is small business. It's small business. We can always make another artist, but you are my only brother. You haven't met two of my my youngest kids. I miss you, and man, I gotta say them. I don't know what you're tripping over. I really don't know. What you upset about? Ask me anything that you don't understand. Anything you don't understand about anything that's happened, ask me. No ask more me. bats. No more. But I don't think hammers. he's been on rah rah shit though. You know. No, we I, I don't get that energy from him. Like yeah. who? He, you. I'm saying you're not on rah rah shit. No, nah, he said he got brother. children. Yeah, I haven't yeah, even met like him. I'm, not on, to make I'm not on rah. I'm yeah. not on rah rah. But if any badass fans even say, look at me wrong, no, slap I'm the fuck out. Not, yeah, not. Yeah. But let me ask, let me I'm ask you this saying, though. I'm just saying, bro. Like Boosie has, I have threats in my email. Yeah, I have threats in my not my email. I have threats in my DM. Boosie needs to know his stupid ass fans are threatening me, and shit. That's the type of shit that's coming from this. And as they, a brother, you that's always gonna it. happen. You're always gonna. Nah, have, but if he I shouldn't be doing whack, it. I don't have little whack minions. Boosie knows his oh, power. <laughs> Do they? I mean, I feel like Boosie knows his power, <laughs> and. Like Boosie, man, Boosie has been applying pressure Yo, on Blue, myself, and all this so shit. So let, let me ask you an important question. But he's wrong by how he doing it. Do you think Young Blue fucks you over too? You personally too? That's the, the question. Thing. Blue got out of his contract with me, the management contract with me. Yeah. Because Boosie, because because Boosie had his lawyer send a letter to Columbia saying that I could not speak to the label. Which you couldn't. Yes. Yeah, so what? So why what, would he do that? That's fucking you. So now nothing's getting done. And that's why the the, the Columbia deal deteriorates because I'm the key man. So Boosie hated on you. Boosie, was, why you hating? He was he. I, I guess he was mad because his money, whatever. Yeah. If you if you have to validate. So it. But, Columbia but didn't this, pay him either. So, man, I don't know. This is what I'm saying. You gotta know that because you was involved he took in that. Me, he blocked me. He took you out. He told Columbia they he can't speak me. with you. Imran is like TQ. I can't. So, so even when dealing with Columbia, I'm I'm having to go. I, I'm having to be some anonymous person, like to be on a conference call. Like, I can't even be myself. That shit hurt the deal because I put the deal together. You remove me, you remove the coach. Yeah. So that's how we, man. It's it's just man, Boosie. I continuously bring Boosie the bag. I brought Boosie Mo three. What's your homework on that? How, how J Main say, do your homework. Do your homework, yeah. <laughs> do your homework. What's the what's the what's the situation? Let's why, start why did badass never sign Mo three? Wait, why not? badass you tell never us. signed Mo three? 
I'd like to know no, more about did, that. They yeah. did a collab album. Stop capping. They did a collab album two yeah. years after I brought him to us. It don't matter, but don't say they didn't do no business. What could have Listen to what I'm Stop saying. I'm hating on Why did didn't you say no badge to Boosie I shit. discovered Mo3. And you saying you discovered Boosie? I discovered Mo3 flew him and Rainwater in. Oh, we learning a lot Listen today, right? to what I'm saying. But that's your motherfucking job. You ain't on, right? Nigga, I'm, I'm one of the best at it. Yeah, that's cool. I'm Nick Saban. I'm Nick Saban. But of your Alabama. social media don't work like Boosie's work. It so when you find them, then Boosie promotes them. Let's keep it real, bro. Give him his credit. Absolutely, but I'm there doing the go. strategic marketing. I'm the one that's they posting. They in? I'm the one that's posting okay, from the so uh, account. I'm the one. That, <laughs> I'm not saying that Boosie don't deserve everything that he deserved, but I'm saying that Tell I Fabio do too. and Louis. We you got, feel me? Yo, but you want to holler at? Hold on. You want to holler at Fabio? Bro. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Both three never signed coming. because Boosie didn't want to give him a dollar. Yeah, but they did do a deal. They Two did a collab. Two years later, Both three left Boosie did crib. You, did you get paid? And was disappointed. No. Why you ain't getting paid? Boosie cutting you out. Boosie stop every time. You every want, time he cut you out. And this, and I'm gonna tell you. So where's your money coming from? Where your money <laughs> yeah. coming from? All right, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you, the the thing that I'm most pissed off about, and we haven't been able to resolve is because this is the thing. I bring the bag. He cuts me out. He finds a reason to get mad. He cut me out. He cut me out. Right? Yeah. So he ain't the never rap, just cut What about you a the chance? rap snacks deal? Who did that? You? James had never met Boosie before we before the paperwork was done. Before the flavor well, had you been part decided of the cut, on. You supposed to get your cut. Listen to what I'm saying. I go to Boosie with a LOD. Letter like of direction. Boosie, Boosie, can you please sign it for five percent? Man, and keep in mind, I'm doing he all won't this. do that? He won't sign five for five percent. James yeah, that's had nasty never, work. James is James that's nasty is nasty work. James is a member of Cap Alpha Psi fraternity. Yeah, that's nasty. That is work. my relationship. Yeah. Okay. I reached out. I see them doing. I see them doing uh, chips with different artists. I reach out. You feel what I'm saying? That's nasty work. Boosie won't he sign a letter of direction for five percent. First, so he blows, blows what, it off. What is your percentage on overall company? We don't have an operating agreement because we brothers. Anybody else, I would have an operating agreement no, that I do a, a you're limited. You're supposed part. to have one. You learned Man, from that, didn't you? I, I've learned a whole lot of yeah. shit, bro. I've, I've learned a whole lot of shit. I've ended yeah. up on the bad end. You of need to look at my attorney, Sim Rossin. But look, bro, look I'm, my attorney, bro I make you money. Right. I have uh, I have other artists. Okay. Yeah. I manage content creators. I've made a ton of money off of monetizing Facebook. Okay. That saved me when. With all of this shit, right? Got you. So, but right now, it's hard on everybody, right? But you saying Boosie never gave you Boosie money. is not paying me the things. Man, y'all y'all cut that shit up, Clip. You can count how many things we've talked about that I've been yeah. cut out for no reason. Nigga done found Boosie, yeah, listen, Boosie, you got to address this because he's saying as your brother, as yeah. a business partner to that label, he's bringing people to the label, discovering people, right? He's grooming them. He's a and r He's bringing deals, relationships, and you won't give him a cut, not even a letter of direction for five percent. If that is in case the truth, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Right, and that's still no reason for me to steal from him. Would you ever sue I've him? Huh? Would you ever sue him? Man, I don't believe in that shit. I think that's some police ass shit. You know he's setting with your you. ass up to be sued. I know he is, but that's what I'm. That's and you got to spend money on them attorneys. Exactly, and that's the other part. And that's that's I'm the other part. You. That's what's going on right now. Boosie, so, pull back on that, bro. I mentioned who all Boosie is suing. Yeah. yeah. The thing about it. Oh, the fuck is he suing Drake? And and the thing about it, all of our attorneys cost the same. But I'm, I'm not making millions. So Boosie is trying to bankrupt me. One of his posts said, yeah, I know you got them properties and shit like that. Boosie is trying to bankrupt his brother. Niggas need to know that. Yeah, that's some but, but Niggas yeah, need to know it, that, it, bro. Yeah, that's and that's what is the personal shit that happened transpired Only between them that you don't want to talk about? Bitch in high school. ain't nothing. But you can't I say that. I think he fucked Boosie bitch in high I, school. I've always I've got had one of his baby mamas. I've always had my own, bro. Did you ever, look, you ever get at one of Boosie baby mamas? No, bro. You ever get caught looking at her ass when she no, was walking bro. by? No, Boosie's... All right, let me ask you this. Before the 300K, did y'all have issue before that? No, not really. It'll, so it'll, that it'll happen the, to everybody else. Fabio! You feel me? Okay. It'll happen to everybody else. You think Boosie else. got a good heart? Uh, yeah, everybody but him. Wow, look, he don't believe me. I don't think so. Nah, you I'm you call him so. a super villain. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think he got a good heart, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Because, but, but. He was honorable he, and respectable he's when faking I talked for the to camera. Him. I don't think he's faking. No, I that's think, him. Yeah. I think he's like. Was you around when him and Ray J was doing that play shit? 
Remember no, that was 2017. That's 17, 18? Yeah, that's when we were, it was about a year and a half. Where play? We I forget what rock. the name of the plate was, but we did it. About 30 what different happened? cities. What happened with it? No, it was great. I mean, that, that nah, was on the, the promoter. Nah, man, that this is the thing, bro. I've never done anything to Boosie to, for him to be this way. Yeah. Fabio just, and him out that's just, how, that's just how he is. Actually, with Fabio at. That's just how he is. Yeah. But there's a lot of people, that's just how they are. Niggas yeah. got their ways, bro. Niggas got their ways, but the only thing about it is the reason why this shit is escalating is because I'm saying, bro, enough is enough. Yeah. Blue is saying, bro, enough is, is enough. I offered you two million that I didn't have to offer you. Yeah. And Blue saying he offered him two million? Yes. That's a nice bag. And I offer you two million because you can tell me how much money you want. You can tell me what the problem was. And Blue said, Said man, we need him here for the went show. On Vlad and Where said, bro, like man, that two million, that ain't shit. I need yeah. more than that. And bro, you can't produce any receipts of where you spend so money. He wants he want ten. He wants ten million. He don't want to do the has, show. Has the problem is Boosie. Nephew, is, you telling the me the problem no? is Boosie is willing to nail me, me to the cross. Tell him come in his best outfit. We gonna fight. Listen, <laughs> Boosie is willing to nail me to the cross for a bag. Yeah. Has Blue made That's ten what's million? That's going on. Uh, man, bro, I don't fucking know. I mean, he had Who this, made 10 million? He's cheating on his wife on this private jet. He better have 10 million, right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, don't know. I think you... They got back together. No, I think, I think, no, no, I think no. he's done over there. He's only done Well, well he apologized. I don't know if they're back. He's, he's trying to get him back. He's trying to get him back. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, uh, say the first album is either gold or platinum. The, he's done well, but they've spent a shit ton of money. Mm. And that's what we should have been on top of. So the whole time, Boosie ignoring me and, and blocking me and... And don't want to talk about it. I'm like, bro, we got to be on top of this, bro. We make money off the profit. There's a time where you need to come in and just be like. We well, you know Empire got to recoup what they put out there before I the splits happen. I know that. I know that. And I'm knowing that ahead of time. So huh? ahead of time, I'm just like, Boosie, this is how know. it Because that's how much Boosie won. I'm like, how much? We have to stay on top of this. This is our role. You million, collect. You, know? you collect. But this thing, Boosie is the ultimate hustler, bro. Boosie yeah. is great at Boosie is go for ten men to try to set for up better or for worse, five. right? Oh, okay, so that's I mean, like, better for worse. There's a good a part about him yeah. being the ultimate <laughs> hustler, <laughs> but you also you, you've kind of seen <laughs> the bad side of it, right? No, no, no. One, one, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. Absolutely, Boosie is the ultimate hustler, and I get he the hardest yeah. working nigga of all time. I don't think Boosie has gone two months without doing a show since he started rapping. Okay, that work ethic is is the truth. Nobody fucking with him with that. Yeah. On top of that. That's how he got the loyal fan base. Yeah. Because he go where nobody else, everybody else too Hollywood to go. So that's how we built, that's, he deserves all of that shit. But when it comes to running a record label, you have to have vision. You got to play the long game. You have to build a catalog. You got to do artist after artist after artist. And then at some point you can sell that bitch, whatever. Boosie don't have that long game. Boosie also was his hottest when the record, when the music industry was at its lowest. Mm. No, when he, when he got true. home, when, when he came home. CD. So yeah. he does not yeah. believe in this just streaming, Pre streaming bag. Yeah. He don't, he don't truly believe Don't in. he got his own streaming platform for no. movies or something? I heard he No, no, no. No, no. Boosie has uh, BooseyMovie.com, which is where he launched his um, films. Right. Did you have something to do with that? Or Hell no. Because I, I, I forgot. Did he I do the Waterboy no. water joint? I heard he was doing yeah, one on the Waterboy. Did you see it? No, no, no. I can't. What it's kind of cringeworthy movie? because it's kind of, it's kind of cringe. I can, it's cringeworthy. I hey, cannot yo. watch any of Blue uh, uh, when any of Boosie's movies. Um, because Why? it's kind of cringeworthy. Just like I probably won't, I won't watch me. I won't watch me. Okay. But look, nah. the first the first movie did well. Boosie was right. Boosie decided to release his uh movie direct to uh consumer. Right. And that motherfucker did like hundred eighty thousand downloads at twenty dollars in like the first month. He ate on that. Okay. That was all him. Yeah. And I was like, that motherfucker was right. He wouldn't have made that if he had went to fucking uh wherever you know yeah. Hulu or whatever. So shout if out, you shout out, hundred eighty thousand right downloads. A hundred eighty. No, it was like hundred thirty. I'm talking about the screenshot that I saw. One three zero or one hundred thirty. One hundred thirty thousand. You see Boosie oh, yeah. right now. Face Boosie to made face. Boosie made M's off his movie. But the other thing is, nigga, that's my movie. That's kind of like my movie too. Like. Yeah, niggas I playing my movie. Hold on, bro. no, I'm just saying that's my story. Hell no, 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 I'm saying that's my story too. Okay, did you write the story? 
No, I'm trying to tell you, nigga, that's our life. Not they're they're talking about my dad. They you. got somebody yeah. playing my mom. They got somebody playing me. Well, that's his dad. That's somebody playing you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you, I'm, so I'm saying, did he play I'm you right? No, fuck no. He was misled. It just it was a misled. short role, but I'm at the end of the movie too. Only just because I have happened to pull up and that nigga was just like, because Boosie don't have no script. It's funny as a motherfucker, bro. He, bro, he's amazingly fucked up, right? Amazingly <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> hey, yo, he's amazing. That's a good way of putting it. I'm <laughs> jealous. Nobody has ever said bro, I was wait, amazingly fucked up. I'm listening to him and realizing, oh, I can just pull up to the Boosie too. movie shoot and just be in there. That's fine. That's I gotta I'm pull saying. up. Yeah, I'm pulling up, bro. If you if you was in the, if you were in any like new one. if you were in any of Boosie's <laughs> movies <laughs> if you were any of any of Boosie's movies, go in the comments. Yeah, pretty much say that you pulled up. You pulled up and you got in the movie. Okay. I pulled up. I was came bringing him a deposit. Yeah. And guess what? This was the day before the world shut down. This was March 12th or some shit like that. Yeah. I pulled up. I pulled up to bring him a deposit. And he was like, man, TQ, hey, hey, I need you to do this part. I need you to do this part. We're going to be walking at the end of the movie. And I just need you to be like, man, hey, what we about to do? What we about to do right now? Yeah. And just say some shit like, uh, and, I, and I think I said, well, I came up with uh, like. Oh man, we about to show the world because show the world was his first single when he came up. Yeah. But anyway, I was not supposed to be in the fucking movie. Yeah. Nigga forced me in the movie, and you know, like I say, he banked off that. Did you sign off, bro? I'm not about to sue Boosie for nothing. I didn't send you. Yeah. Soon. I might have to sue him. He I said, might have yeah, to sue him. Yeah. It's to it, the point. If he don't, he gonna sue you, right, bro? If he don't drop this shit, I'm gonna have to counter sue him. I don't want to do that because, yeah. I, bro, they but just taking our money. The They're taking, man. Of- you tell me. I, I, advise me. You're about to go back and blow in this shit. Look at this shit, man. Simran Singh. You just saw dollar signs. He's like, I'm saying, I advise you. No, 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 truly, bro. To to everybody, all the badass fan base, the badass community. Look, bro, I ain't come on here to bad whack Adam. Thank you You for having me. You didn't bash. I didn't come. I didn't come on here to bash my brother. And you clear? I want to be clear. I'm coming here to clear a whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of shit that's. I don't like the way Boosie doing it. He's going about it the wrong way, and I just want him to stop. Yeah. I just want him to stop, bro. We can work this shit out, but the way he's going, he's about to fumble the bag again. There's been a lot of times where he's fumbled the bag because by claiming that I forged your signature, you're going to call every other deal that I've done into question. Mm. And Blue can easily get out of the shit because of our internal shit. Yeah. Right? So stop claiming that. Yeah. Let's come to the table and just be like, let's get what we agreed to, which is 50% of three albums. He haven't even done the third album yet. Let's stay on top of it. And anything that you don't understand, anything you think we did that was fucked up, bruh, at least call and tell me that. Ask me why I did it so I can clear it up with you. Yeah. Because I don't believe I did anything for you to be mad about. You didn't lose any money. You didn't lose any money, and you still are set to gain money. But we have to do it this time. I protected myself. You can't do it without me. I can't do it without you. So yeah. tap in, Boosie. Hit my so line. If, if you see Boosie right now physically, what happens? What you think? The I don't know. Like? I was in Houston last night. He had a show in Houston. Okay. I felt like we was going to bump into each other. But Did you go to the show? Houston, the big city, bro. Nah, nah. I had a, I was doing other stuff, man. I, I didn't know he had a show until I was. You fuck with them rap a lot, niggas? Uh, I mean, I ain't, I ain't never really dealt with uh. So you telling me you rap a lot? No, 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 no. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not rap a lot, man. Shout out um, to rap a lot. So do you know the energy? Shout out to rap a lot. In person, do I don't know, bro. No, no, okay. I don't know, bro. I'm I don't know. I'm I don't know ties. that I won't be mad. Yeah. I don't know. I feel ties what I'm saying. 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I probably wouldn't rush Boosie. I probably rush somebody around him. Those are the words of Hocus Pocus Fifth, yeah. the rat. Like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't think Boosie won't anybody do anything to you. I don't think so either. I mean, I don't I think know. he just, I don't, I think the investigators think, told Boosie some shit yeah. to try to, I'm going to tell you what they tried to do. They told him some shit about him yeah. to see if Boosie was going to flip and confirm some shit. Yeah. And he believed. And my, my, my boys that work for the state police felt like they arrested me because they thought I knew more than I knew. And they thought you arresting you was going to get you to tell some shit about right. Bootsy. They, thought they tried I knew to more flip y'all and they it didn't work. More than I knew. And That's Bootsy believed told. it. Yeah. He fell for the banana man, in the tailpipe. But the thing is, I don't give him no excuse. Yo, for man, that. why the fuck you send me that text? What? Anyway, man. This motherfucker sends me a text. Yeah. A picture of him and this dude fucking this bitch. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. One getting head, one hitting him from the back. And these motherfuckers. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. I've seen that. Wow. Yeah. So what's the feeling with that when you when you did that? Because you yeah, felt like it was a monumental well, moment. Well, the hand thing felt kind of awkward. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Oh, y'all held hands. You held hands. No, I wouldn't say we it's held hands. Loud, so it was more of a high hands. five. Yo, what, what, I can't remember, honestly. I might have to default to the photo. To find yo, out. So y'all didn't stay up there. You yo, see he sent me this shit. And I was like, do I get mad? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, you've I, had, Adam, you've had quite the uh, quarter. <laughs> the fuck is quarter? Yeah. You've had quite the quarter. It's been a hell of a year. I think yo, you have a personality, too. Yo, oh, he sends me this. Look what he sends me. You might need to blur that. I don't know how big that's going to look on camera. Hey, hey, look, bro. Y'all yo, too happy in this, man. Yo, I said, now, look, I get a text. Adam 22, okay, we'll bro up to. Bam, but I'm like. The emotion I feel when I look at that is that I'm pissed off I'm not in as good a shape as the other guy. So you want to do a, another beach. one in better shape? Well, well, he got an ill six pack and shit. He you French. was looking at his six pack while you. Well, that's what I see when I is, look at it now. Yeah. Is that your content or is that just like? Yeah, that's that's no, no, no. Yeah, he yeah. got a whole nother division. Only plug talk dot com. You didn't, you haven't heard? You know he let the brother. Nah, his, nah, I saw that. I saw that. that. Yeah, that dude, that dude from Louisiana, man. Is he? We we that's what we, that's how we. That's Who? How we Jason come. Love. That's how you yeah, from come. Louisiana. I know. He spelled it wrong on the cover of his book. I believe it. Louisiana, you know about spelling? I ain't gonna lie. We've been having a, t- a tough time spelling lately. Man. Everybody from the South. I'm, a, I'm an awesome speller. I'm, I'm a fucking awesome speller. Right. When I have artist phone, the shit come out right. Yeah. So look, I'm with, on your content creators and um, what you got like TikTokers or what? what you nah, got? man. Uh, yeah, what? My artist, my artist Nobi, he's dropping a project uh, next month. He signed to Motown Capital. He's an R&B artist. Um, no be the truest. Uh, I got a dude that's going crazy. He's like, uh, he's not a bounce artist, um, but his name's Sub Tweet Sean. Sub Tweet Sub Tweet Sean going crazy right now. He released the project last uh, month, over a million uh, streams on. He just sub tweets people all the time. Sub Tweet Sean. He just he's talks shit on Twitter without Sub Tweet Sean them? got over. I think we might be at two million since we dropped. Like. That's a memorable name. I gotta check him out. Uh, I like that name. He's a fucking superstar. Okay. He is a superstar. He's created so many different waves. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's go. created so many different waves. I'm gonna follow that. Dances that he created when he real, was like real bad. That's the way yeah, moving. Dances that he created when he was in high school made it to two uh, K. Wow. He wow. never got paid for it, right? Sub tweet. He never shot. got paid for it, but but right now he got. Man, he if you look at him, he got all the he got all the youth. He got Tweet everybody, Hotel. man. Everybody yeah. fucking with him. Tweet Hotel is the project. Check out Sub Yo, for Sean. You know today was a great day. Why? Um, because we did this BG. interview. I agree. Huh? BG oh, BG yeah, came on. Yeah, BG man. came on. I was in Vegas because I had to set up a range. Birdman all FaceTimed yeah. you. Huh? Birdman FaceTimed. Well, you I left. Ba- I had to go set up all the shit, and then I had to get back here. I wasn't gonna call you and say I gotta do this. So I went to Vegas. I had to set up the studio, the living arrangements. Got that done. For BG? Uh, yeah. So oh, I wasn't he's staying awesome, in Vegas? Huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I wasn't Let's able, go there. Let's do his I first was, interview. We could do all that. Woo. No problem. So I wasn't able to stay there for him walking out because I had to get back for this. Okay. That's wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to take up too so, much more. Uh, I appreciate in, that. Bro. Yeah. Oh, no. No. I mean, they, they, they did it already. So. Before Boosie got arrested, they had did like a uh, mixtape and shit. So that's his boy. Like The movement is coming. We got... BG I know quite him. naturally. The game gonna do his next project on Cash Money. Um, shy belligerent, little young hey, shot of Nick Cigar. Shy raw. I had DM him. him out. I had DM'd him. Hey, check this out. Man. I had DM'd him about two days later. I saw. I said he in good hands. I saw him on oh, your show. And shit? I said, because that's my whole thing. My whole no, thing he, is he I be wanting artists that that I become a fan of early just to be in good hands. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I had DM'd him, bro. He ain't Shout never checked. Shout out to my boy Runchy. Yeah. But yeah, man, like, yeah, we got him coming. Fuck, um, like, bro, I'm excited. Blue Face about Project coming. Um, I got a game tour coming. I mean, so at the end of my year, I'm like, you know, I got a diaper coming. I'm launching. I might start we coming launching. on Clubhouse, bro. Yeah, come on, come to the hunter side. <laughs> yeah, bro, I might come start to the hunter side. You know, one thing about our side, Sam, I'm gonna tell you, uh, <laughs> you know, ain't ain't no fucking around over there. You're not coming behind them walls. I'd say don't like me though. It's they all fucking me. around, huh? This is the whole thing is fucking around. Wait, first of all, <laughs> we fucking protected and defended you. Did you? Yeah, shout out to my man Beast and Reek. Come oh, on, you don't remember? Yeah. Remember they was trying to run the bullshit? I there remember you morning. put a fake suicide attempt on Reek, and I'm still pissed off about it. I didn't. <laughs> I made a rap song because Reek got caught that day by two of his bitches and his baby mama in the goo. So they like, yo, so now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. They're like, whack, how Reek holding up? 
And I said, shit, by now, he probably took a nose dive on the 405. <laughs> and I started rapping. By the time I woke up in the morning, yeah. everybody said Reek tried to kill himself. No, you know what I've been doing? I was getting ready for an interview. I'm listening to your female ops making YouTube videos talking about shit with you that I had no idea about. <laughs> I got a lot. Who? Who are you talking about? Tasha. Tasha K? Mm. Now, listen, I'm going to let the cat out the bag. It's your female op. What? You know what's the reason why me and Tasha K got a little beef, right? You used to be in them guts. Woo! I mean, uh, Shout I out gonna, to all the whoa, winos. Whoa, 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 listen, whack. listen, I don't, I don't listen, bro. Whack. That's black love. I like. Wait, that. wait, wait, yeah, wait, I can wait, see wait. that. Is this I'm, not speak, I'm not speaking. I'm not gonna speak on you that. Fuck Tasha K. Hold on, bro. I, I never said. Captain, listen. Am I going too far? Listen, Did listen, you hit that? listen, bro. Wack never said that. I'm just gonna say, you a wino? That, that me and Tasha K have been acquainted. Really? Dang. So this is personal. A little bit. Wow. I like it. So why you switch to be on Cardi B side? Because it didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out. He got to get his That's get my back. own girl. <laughs> That's my who, own who girl. Who go between you and Tasha? I mean, um, it was mutual. That's you what know, I just kind of like, you know, I decided that, uh, you know, she the African community deserved it more than me. <laughs> <laughs> so her, her new man, right, he's an African guy. Yeah, I heard. You I African? Heard. Yeah, I'm African. I looked up for the African community. Yeah. But you calling him an African like you talking shit about him, right? No, he's African. You're being colorist. Or you being colorist if a guy's yeah. African? Do you yeah, identify African? Are, you are you an FBA? I'm from Ghana. He you from you Ghana, identify right? as an he FBA? Huh? Do you identify as an FBA? No, that's what you know that's, about FBA. That's huh? Sir Major. What man, you been yeah. shout out to my what man Tariq. I never go. knew what a tether was. Go. Now I know what a tether is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's me, offensive man. for me to say that. I don't know what that is. A tether, a tether is a guy who comes from Africa and tries to act like he is an American. That's and tries oh, to fit in. That's they, they Ola. Said, well, oh, yo, listen, they call every African no. like that. All I know is East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. He knows the South, all our slang. Yeah. On four nil, man. Yo, all of be on club. I was talking about on four nil. I said, oh, yo. If, you're in, if you're straight out of Africa and you're hey, saying yo. on four nil, that's what? funny. That's this funny. This motherfucker right here, but all the cool though. All the cool. He's he about he seven cool. feet tall though. Yeah, yeah. I think he played basketball Ola. overseas and shit. Yeah, yeah he but he's, he's like he a U.S. citizen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he talks like all our slang mixed in one. Okay, yeah. I like it. Influence, huh? What about Flacco? Influence. Does Flacco count? Flacco from North Dakota. Yeah, but he from Liberia. Well, right? yeah. Liberia via North Dakota. But Tariq Nasheed, he don't like Hold Africans, on. man. And he just finds every way <laughs> Hold on. to just race hustle Hold and on, just I'm on no Africans jumper. under the bus. I got my man Sam Beto. He guest speaking with me. I'm keeping it real. And I got Adam 22, and I'm telling him, Ooh. Ola is an African who's been in America, but he knows the East Coast, West Coast, down South slang. He don't think you know Chicago slang, Ola. Give well, Adam Ola. 22 <laughs> some Chicago slang, bro. <laughs> Uh, hey, I got you to stop playing, man. On folks, man. Man, what's going on, man? On folks, man. Quit playing with it. What up? It's probably Ola. What up, Ola? Ola's the president, my nigga. You hear the voice? Beatles here. <laughs> yo, tell it. Uh, yo, give us the West Coast. Give us the West Coast, Ola. <laughs> <laughs> Ola, seven feet tall from Nigeria. Seems cool. No, nah, he, he cool he, as fuck. Man cool. Man cool. He cool man. as fuck. Does he know Solid Tasha K? Hey, I never, I've never, I've never heard him shy. Mm. Ola, you know they gonna hear this shit on the on the app. They gonna troll you. Like this ain't no. You get. That's why you tired of you tired of making me trouble. Oh man. Ola's fucking shy. He got pussy one hand right now. He probably got a girl. For the Tindo, for real, for real. I'm the only African in the United States of America that the police and give his focus. And that's on Fox 10 Grape, man. He really turned African real quick. <laughs> no, he's African. No, this nigga from Nigeria. No. He wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> no, this is my bad Ola, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Ola's a trench baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trench baby. All right, Ola, I'm a, I call you back. Solid dude, man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's seven cool feet tall. He's cool as fuck. Wow. Like, it's interesting. They put you onto the FBA stuff. It's very interesting, Who did? man. Who put you Because well, I interviewed Tariq, and he's just blaming oh, okay. everything you could possibly talk about. He just blames it on the non FBAs. Yeah. He's like, well, what's yeah. FBA? What's the foundational what's the black American? So okay. basically, some Someone who came from slavery. They 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 think Africans are here oh, like taking that's... their jobs and mm. and it's like bro. Well, this, this is America. This, this is, is, a, this is a white man's country, man. We don't got no power. And they here. resent that like you know? in Harvard, a person from Nigeria who just came over 
counts as a black person the same way that a, a person who's been in America for a couple hundred years, their family lineage so counts it, as it, a black person. But it's person. not the Nigerian. You got to tell the white man to change that. Because well, the Nigerian can't change. The Nigerian that's coming here don't have the power to dictate that. that. Yeah, yeah. The really white, you got to go to the white man and say, yo, separate us. We're going to be black and call them Africans. Don't put us together black slash African. Mm. The African can't do that. So True. it's like you mad at the wrong person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and, and that's but but Tariq he's he be hustling. That's that's his whole thing, you know. It's like he he push hate and he make money from that. You know what I'm saying? I like I'm not gonna say the dude is not trying to build something, right. but he found like a, like a niche like people who are just mad at Africans and he just antagonized them and it's like yo let's let's go with these people, you know. And yeah, I like the guy, but the way that he just con- consistently just goes back to everything being a non FBA thing is kind of yeah. like unreal. Yeah. Well, you know, I think people need, they need something and somebody to blame. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last thing we need is more division. Yeah, they need right. something and somebody to blame. Last thing we need. Like, look so, at us here all seeing here. Like, they yeah. need something and somebody to blame. You know, I, yeah. I called Wack. I said, Wack, I'm in L.A. He yeah. said, come to No Jumper. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't play that. No, nah, we know, need man. something and somebody to blame. Don't I, don't, play that. I don't like to blame shit. I don't like, well, I blame this and this is the reason yeah. why it is. I'm like, bro, one thing about America, it's a land opportunity. You can fuck it up. Or you can fuck up and still bounce back. I got a GED. Man, you know what I'm saying? So All I know like, is everybody. It's a ghetto in every city. No, that's real. But it's y'all a come from a real city. ghetto. It's ghetto. It's a ghetto. Y'all in every come from real ghetto. Everybody just trying to get it. Everybody's struggling, bro. Yeah. Everybody's you know struggling. Bang. You know a dude named Bang. He say he used to hang around y'all. He in my room. You got to come to my room. Pause. Meet these people. No, Bang. Did you where? say pause? Where? <laughs> he's in and we're doing a music room where? next week. He from uh, he's from your your city. Yeah. Whatever. Bang. That yeah. sounds familiar. But he, he might be known as something else. But he said he used to run with y'all. Where you live? He guess he lived wherever y'all from. Y'all from what? Baton Rouge. Where y'all from, from Baton Rouge. South Baton, Baton Rouge. Rouge. But you know what? I got a music room next week. And okay. when this when uh, this I would love to be there, bro. When this um comes out, we always debut our this the content on the hunting side. Okay. Over there in one of our rooms, usually dangerous minds of the good burger. They definitely want to want gotcha. you in the room so they can run their questions. I'm going so to the uh, trolls room. We should, nah, we trolls don't fuck nation. With them no more. We no? shut them down. They, uh, What's your relationship with Jay Cooper? Them down? Who? Jay Cooper. Uh, nah, Jay Cooper. Road manager. Jay Cooper is cool, man. Jay yeah. Cooper. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, Boosie's uh, road manager right now. Yeah. Who's uh, his manager? Tall, tall gay dude. Um. Yeah, I got to From meet him Alabama. through my boy Trini MMF. And oh, he, Jay, Jay Cooper's, Cooper's a tall gay dude. Yeah. How did he meet Jay Cooper? Uh, when we when Boosie first came home, Jay Cooper was a promo- he is a promoter. He's yeah. a big promoter in Alabama. I think he's from the uh, Birmingham area, so he was booking uh, Boosie. I don't know how he ended no, up. No, I gotta uh, call you on some shit. Okay. You know he just tried to do some bullshit. Who? Because when we asked you who's who? Jay Cooper, you could have just said he was a promoter. I used to book Boosie. You wanted to throw in there tall gay dudes so people could run with the narrative. On why Bootsy running around with a talk with a gay dude. You want some no, slick no, shit. No. <laughs> but look, I fuck with a dude, not fuck with a dude. I'm <laughs> friends with a dude. No, I'm friends with a dude named Ion that's yeah. a seven feet tall gay dude. But why did you have to throw in gay dude in there? Because you did that. No, because I didn't. Brought him I didn't even know Jay and Cooper was gay. Did you know Jay yeah, Cooper was gay? I met him a couple times. So you knew he was gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's you didn't know he was gay. No, I didn't say he was gay. You said but he was gay. I just yeah. asked him, like, you know, like his relationship with we Jay Cooper. We gonna clear up that he now. Said, uh, he asked him was. Yeah. He asked him but you brought up him being, him being gay, though. I absolutely but did. It, it kind of does help Why? Boosie, though, because you know they was trying to say Boosie was homophobic, and Boosie's like, "Yo, my role manager who handles a lot of my business is gay." Boosie not homophobic. That's like saying I'm not anti-Semitic because my lawyer is Jewish. Yeah, like one of those. Me what I, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, how, I do a what podcast I think about Adam? Jay Cooper. Yeah. Suspected white supremacist. Shout out no. to Reek. No. Well, he he, he calls crazy. everybody that. You, you do a lot of gay shit out of him. So you want well, to investigate? Suspected homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to investigate? Yeah, I believe so. But nah, yeah. man. No, no. He don't <laughs> get no fucks. Adam don't get no what is, fucks. What is the punishment for that? Hey, yo, why uh, is. It, it's, it's in limbo. Why yeah. is the why is Rockstar claiming. He had to interview you because you was making the interview boring. No, because he just came on here with an agenda that he wanted to ask me all these questions, most of which had already been asked, but I, I humored it. So he asked you a bunch of shit already been asked. Basically. Most so of the stuff you've asked, yeah. Oh, my God. I heard about oh, your I, wife. I I I'm like, okay. Yeah. We've, we've been through this. 
Gotcha. I got a question for you. No. There you go. So, so, be so your wife. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm not even going to do that. No, no, no. That's, that's been beat down. Look, in your friendly hey, yo. competitive <laughs> battle oh, with DJ Academics, okay. who you think is winning right now? Because I feel like <laughs> Ak has been pocket watching you. Been, you know, y'all have a little friendly feud. Friendly, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But who do you think, who you think is winning, platform wise? Uh, I don't know. I mean, no, John Bro's got a variety of hosts and stuff. He's still kind of like this singular entity. He said he's about to come through with the, the academy with all these different hosts under it. We've yet to see what that looks like, but I don't know. I'm not really, I don't, I don't compare myself no, to other content creators jump. besides the ops. That's my brother. He got a strong platform, but you got how many different segments you got? Like six? We five, got a lot of different six. shit going on here. Yeah. yeah, that. And then he got a whole nother thing with his porn yeah. thing, yeah. plug yeah. talk. What, uh, what adult platform? What adult content company did you like benchmark? Your, benchmark your company out. Indie, right? Yeah, I don't know. But I'm saying, but which one did you see and was like, I love that shit before you had your own shit. In terms of the adult stuff, ours is kind of like way different than everything else. So to be honest, I wasn't really super influenced by anything else because everything else in porn, yeah, because I was like, you, we need something that's a combination of like you really getting to know these people slash watching them fuck all in one package. And I didn't feel like oh, anybody so was really bringing that talking, to the table. Yeah, we do a podcast and then we fuck them. Oh, and we also do live streamed orgies slash podcasts. Okay. I've seen it. I just, I just didn't click. Yeah, it's a whole so thing. Only plug talk. You watch, you watch porn. I don't watch sword fights. I can watch women. <laughs> I don't watch I hope bitches. You don't watch sword. Girl on girl. Yeah. I'm nah, saying, nah, do you I watch, watch like nah. male female? No, nah, no, nah, I watch. I'm, I'm more I, into the homegrown stuff. I can watch women. I can't watch. The day that academics told me that when he beats off, he goes to Pornhub and searches like Chirac thotties. No. That was a, a very <laughs> revealing on, day for me. No I like swear hey. to God, he said that. Hey, I could not believe my jaw dropped. Was, I couldn't believe it. He said he beats off and go. That's what he likes to look up. It's like like you know Brooklyn ratchets. I don't know something like that. Oh, he he he. That explains the hey, little chick. What's the one he was with? Maybe with all the tattoos. That's his fetish. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's obsessed with the culture. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. He's obsessed with that ratchet. <laughs> he's Jamaican. <laughs> he's obsessed with that ratchet shit, bro. Yeah. yeah he better hope the wrong one respect. don't get a hold of. That's the dedication. Man. No, that might have already happened. I seen a video of academics and he's at a Dave Chappelle live show. And his girl is on Instagram Live talking hella shit while Dave Chappelle is performing. You can hear Dave, and she's panning over and showing Ack, and Ack is just getting more and more mad. I don't know why he's putting up with this. I haven't got a chance to ask him either, but that, that's one thing I need to get to the bottom of. Does he, does he date black women? Who, Hispanic Ack? mostly, I think. Okay. Seems like that's his type. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's Jersey, New York. Yeah, like a Hispanic. You, you need a black like woman. Maybe an FBA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black or or <laughs> African? Your man, that's your man. It's all the same with me, bro. How about we hook academic up with Michelle King? Uh, well, Michelle was a woman. You know, we we, we figured that we out. figured that out. Who's Michelle? Shout out Michelle King. I'm thinking about Michelle. The, uh, I'm thinking Michelle Obama. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, that, that, that. <laughs> that's, that's Yo, that did you hear that Freddie yeah. and Jimmy got kicked off the plane because they had diarrhea? You didn't see the Delta flight that had to land? The, but who was it? They it was had someone you knew? diarrhea. Yeah, they from the Roosevelt. Excessive Elizabeth. diarrhea where they had, I think they had to shit on themselves. <laughs> they must have shit on themselves because the bathroom can handle it. They yeah. had to land the motherfucking plane. And, see, I saw it, that, but and, there was no additional bad. information, and it kind of yeah. pissed me off. I'm like, this is why there needs yeah, to be an Freddy article linked here, bro. Freddie and, and Jimmy Blanco from the Roosevelt. on them. Man, that shit happened. I don't know. That might have been Jimmy. For sure. They had it. Sounds weird, right? They had it. You didn't see it? No, I just, That's I just a lot of poop. I didn't click on that to shit, shut the man. whole flight down. That was, that was Freddie. That, that was Freddie and Jimmy that shit from the Roosevelt. Bad, you really telling me five year foreigns out there? Well, you know that's yeah, we Louis and the rest of them. But we gonna he just want to talk to you one on one. I guess we are gonna figure Bobby? that out. We gonna figure. You know, we about to do some big business. With he Bobby. don't want to fuck with me. I'm a GD lover. Oh, what? There we go. Yeah, but Fabi from New York. I know, and he, he hates like, the GDs. He GDK for life. Oh, I don't know none they of them. Shout out to Kid shit, O'Curry. <laughs> Shout out to Kid every O'Curry. Every watching, we talking about here. Whatever side like, Kid O'Curry <laughs> from is who I'm with. Shout out to JoJo Capone. I don't know. I don't they be knowing none him all the passes. Adam, Adam, Adam tapped in. Yeah, I'm too tired. He know what's going on. Yeah. You're in, you're in Yo, trench. so your barber coming at him? He's supposed to be here any minute now, yeah. How much they charge you? $400? $150. 
Oh, you seen that punk shit with uh, YK Osiris? Man, the chick tried to charge him $100 for a lineup. Oh. I wouldn't have paid, but you know I what? He didn't lie. He said his cash out was maxed out. You know, yeah. you get a limit. Yeah, yeah. And I think he really meant to pay her. Yeah. And she just went to the internet on him. Yeah, man. You got wow. to know they're going to do that. Now, that's a whole lot of money. got to know that. Yeah. I mean, I give my barber fifty dollars for the ball here. Well, bro, they be tripping out here, bro. We've been at we've been at the Airbnb so many times, and then we trying to get a cut before we got something going on out here. And motherfuckers be tripping, bro. That's the only time. I, it's very rare I think about going in somebody's pockets, bro. But <laughs> god damn, bro, that shit disrespectful. Really? They be trying to charge like one fifty two. Damn, that's crazy. But if they're pulling up. No, like, oh, they're not pulling up. Oh, yeah, no, I got pulled up. Yeah. They trying to charge everybody. You got to call this, my barber, this, CJ, bro. This dude, CJ at the Antelope Valley. Yeah. He'll drive to you. Reasonable rate. He's going to get out. He ain't going to be doing no talking, no bullshitting. He ain't going to be doing no clout chasing. Do they polish yours once they shave it? Huh? No, what they do, they um spit shine it. No, they they spray the alcohol, oh. and this, the, the sensation from it is crazy because it be burning you a little bit. How and often do you it, do it? Uh, I go to the barber. Once a week, and then I'll shave with the Mach 3 once a week. Okay. But my barber CJ at the Antelope Valley? Yeah. I'm at the give you his number. I'm you thinking about shaving to. my shit again. So we might be sitting here two bald then motherfuckers. Then you're going to be a skinhead with blue eyes. Yeah, I know, it's yeah, going to look crazy. To take off yeah, on yeah, 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 but you already got a lightning bolt right here you try to make a cross. It's not a lightning bolt. Yeah, that was a lightning bolt. You try to make it a cross. You probably got all kinds of black power tattoos. Oh, uh, I'm like, I'm an all, all okay. lives matter guy. Black power has a better image than white power. I'm for my people. But I'm an All Lives Matter guy. Yeah, you always say that. 2016, people were getting massacred on the timeline for saying that. Crazy, I always say that. I'm nothing. a Trump supporter. Yeah. See, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. You remember how bad they did Kanye for saying that back in the day? Man, but I, Trump, I voted for Kanye. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Huh? If Trump would have just stayed off off Twitter. Bro. You think he over with? He nah, over nah. With. I don't uh, think he over with. I think it's the 14th Amendment. You didn't nah. see the 14th people say amendment, you can't ninjas not. for Trump? I understand. In front of the jailhouse, I think he can win. Can no, he still wait, run? I understand. Can he still run yeah, at this yeah, yeah. unless, unless he go to jail? No, I'm saying right now, can he still run? Yeah. Trump? Yeah. Trump is going to win. He's a candidate. He's going to win. I don't want him to win, but he's going to win. She mean you don't want him to win. I'm a Biden guy. Shout out Biden. I saw something Look, about the 14th for Biden. Amendment. Sliding for Biden. The 14th Amendment said if you ever if you ever were a part or or helped uh um, the 14th Amendment was adapted. Uh, but you got to be convicted, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not convicted. He's just he's charged with a bunch 90, of shit yeah, right now. Yeah. Be 91 and charges. I, I think he's going to trial like in March for one of them. 91 charges? Listen, Probably not. Bro, I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to jail. And, and look. Do you think he. I think he's going to beat him. Yes. 91 gonna charges? Beat him, yes. I think he's going to beat him. Be look, I, unless they all trumped up or some shit. Now, he got 91 charges? I think it's 91. Yeah. God, Somebody damn. can fact check. Five indictments. If they do a debate with Trump. And Biden, come on, bro. It's nah, too easy. I, I, I don't think he's standing next to each Biden other. can't even they remember his line. They don't want that. Yeah. Dude, That's I'm what they're saying, trying to stop. Hey, look, I'm not saying it's that. It's easy. It's easy. If it came down to Biden and Trump, I probably would vote for Trump this time. Yeah, I'll go Trump too. But Trump is a criminal. I'm going to know I'm voting for a criminal. <laughs> he knows. I don't know I'm going to vote for a criminal, bro. Well, you, they said you was a criminal too. I know. You see a little bit of your brother in Trump? No. Whoa! <laughs> Where'd that come from? I feel like they might have a little bit of a similar personality. Is that crazy boosie, to say? Man. It's only one Boosie. It's only one Boosie. Right. Boosie badass. Only one Boosie. It's boosie only, did a song with one game TQ, going on man. game album. It's crazy. It's only one TQ. Only one there was a lot of money up when Trump was around, man. I know. When Biden man. came around. If I Trump know. gets elected, it doesn't mean the PPP is coming back. It's We're going to need a pandemic for that. Market, about cryptocurrency, that, man. Everything was green up, 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 up. As soon as Biden came in, everything went down. He was just embarrassing, bro. To like, be fair. You ever had somebody that's, he a, he, a good, he a good dude, and he do good, you know, he a good hustler, but he just, he be embarrassing and shit. Like, bro, why you post that? That's Trump. Yeah. Trump, that's Trump. Trump is an, an exciting president. Kind of embarrassing as an American, no, but it was it's exciting for sure. Embarrassing that those are the, that those are our options, though. That's <laughs> yeah, what's right. fucked up. Yeah, them two. That was fucked. What's fucked up is that those are our fucking. And then they options, said choose bro. the lesser evil out of the two. You got Joe Biden smelling all Kanye. these little kids and shit. Yeah. Anyway, I chose. I'm, I'm like, yo, Kanye's black. Why would I not? I'm if a I have two so. white people that they're saying are evil, right? Yo, why what about any black guy? person? Huh? Not that. Ain't they wrong for banning Kanye? Like. Did they really see him getting some head or did the internet oh, he was doing prosecute it. He was him 
Right. I mean, his booty was nah, out. He, he was he was guilty, bro. If you've you done, mean? if you what if you want to, if you a pu- if you a public sex type uh, dude, you know what he was doing. You know, if you a public sex type dude, you know, you know what he was doing. Bro, come on, bro. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Look, I wear a lot of young niggas sag all the time. Bro, when you got that split right there, and you trying to you trying to hide that split, gonna reveal. But you never seen her bobbing for apples. Man, well, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. It's just slick for that. You know, Let me tell you something. He's getting his dick sucked. So, no, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't believe he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you saw how they walked off. They was mad awkward. Like they got like, caught. Bruh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, bro, that's all. That's what he doing. We we in another country. We doing shit like that. If me and my girl in another country, that's the type of shit we doing. What? You getting top on a boat? I'm not. In broad daylight, I, I don't believe Ye I, did not, that. I'm not doing that, but Kanye doing. No, he did not. Kanye, did you, he, he did put on that extra weight of her bobbing for apples. No, nah, she was sitting there with his that. arm she, around. She was snaking them eggs. Yeah. That's why I needed a new she bitch. Was Kim K was not going to suck your dick on a boat. She'd been famous for too long. This new chick, she might be down. Yes, mm. that's what I'm saying. So that's what you do. The internet put that on him, and y'all riding with it. If. We if, did not if see your, her giving him if some your, If your new chick is less than your old chick, she got to do more. If he didn't do it, he could have easily had Pusha T come out and deny it on his behalf or some shit, right? Why didn't he deny it? No, <laughs> fuck did he put Pusha T. I'm just saying, he, has, he didn't even got to put the statement out himself. He could have just had one of his goons put come out and say, no, there's yeah, nothing. a bar. <laughs> it's, not even a, it's not even a bad thing. He's doing it with his wife. The he, verse coming. The Pusha T verse coming. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hey, he getting it in with his wife. <laughs> what y'all think about the well, bullshit they're trying to put on Blueface? Which one's that? That he was out partying while Krishan was. She didn't want him there, right? There it goes. You got a fucking brain. I don't want to be there if my bitch don't want me there, right? She didn't even tell him. She didn't even know. She's like two, three weeks early. She have a right to not want him there. Like. Yes, because she's the the one in labor. She needs to be as comfortable as she want to be. Now. No, he wait, needs to wait, wait, no. To just I will say her. she had the right to not want him in the labor room. Okay. But he should have been able to be in the hospital to see his child okay. after he was born. Right. To be able to sign the birth certificate yeah. as a father. But I think that him taking his relationship with Jaden Alexis so serious, he wanted to show Jaden that he was Cat, a real he one. never knew she was going into labor. Krishan didn't know. Remember, she said, I have a show tonight, I yeah. can't have a baby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He didn't know. Mm. All right. Well, this you, is the thing. you can speak on this Listen without being biased because that's your that's your audience. Yeah. Okay. I know all parties. Ha, has Blue played a role where you will hold him accountable? And what? The only thing I really hold him be. accountable for yeah. is being over loyal, overly committed to a point that he risks jeopardizing his own career to give her a career okay. and not listening to the people around him that yeah. was trying to pre-warn him. Well, okay. man, I remember when y'all had that show. Was it like a uh, whatever show, the house show? Yeah. And you was going off on her. She had broken to the house or some shit like that. Yeah, that wasn't no and, show. That shit was for real. But I'm saying, I, I, I knew it was for real. Yeah. But you were saying all of that, man. i never forget. But to for him to still be with her for all that time afterwards, that's just how it is. It's bro. just how the other day. But as far as him being in the in the um labor Man. in the, being there while she having a baby, about, he glad he that shit's so fucking dangerous. With they turbulent relationship, he didn't he did not need to I be there while she having that baby. It wasn't gonna make it. You she could have started it trying to assault added, him while she's giving birth. It could have added, yeah. added added stress I and something could have gone wrong. Mm. He put his so, career on the line, man. So. When you and, that, and that's who? what I don't like. Blue. Blue, yeah. He put Listen, his career on the line for what? First, and academics listened. called that. We got to get that. So much shit. First, Blue went to putting out the music. Yeah. It was these songs were out two, three years ago. Yeah. Nobody was gravitating to them. Yeah. So he noticed that anytime some toxic shit happened with them, it helped her. Yeah. And I'm telling them that shit that's helping her is hurting you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was like, let me get her up to a point to where that can go by itself and then we just got to work on to just rebuild me. I'm willing to take that risk. I said, you're going to fuck up a lot of money doing that. Yeah. And you know when you're dealing with domestic shit, yeah. I can't put no music or nothing out. I have something up, yeah. they're going to pull him off, blackball him. So yeah. Yeah. what I yeah. did, I did just didn't put nothing up. Yeah. We losing deals, fights, Absolutely. endorsements. Yeah. And I Even told him, on- once she get up, she going to act like she don't know you. You didn't have nothing to do. And yeah. that's exactly what she did. Does exactly. he got a rebrand now, Blueface? Man, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. As somebody yeah, as somebody that watched the whole come up with Blueface, I think he was introduced to us like as a like a Playboy type crip. And 
fucking with her is going away from that. What's the name of the hit record? You get it. That shit was that the shit was about hoes. Nigga, yeah. you in a whole turbulent relationship. That shit ain't player. So, you know, yeah, I think he might need a rebrand, but he gonna bounce back. He gonna bounce Him back. Chief for Keith sure. just gave me a banger. I, we're gonna go to the studio. Listen man, to blue, face is, blue face a fucking star. Yeah, when we leave he here, want, if you ain't got nothing to do, my studio down the street. We're gonna Why go you got so many out. alarms set on your man, phone? Yeah, <laughs> it, it keep man, no. up. Well, look, never the best. Look, I have my Adam fantasy football draft. Your barber gonna be coming. Oh yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, go yeah. out there, politic, no, take no, a few good. motherfucking pictures. Yeah, yeah, for real, it was great. Don't be mad at me. It was live, bro. He got the platform. You can call me, cuss me out. Come sit down with us. We ain't gonna give him forty k like Vlad does, but we we'll have a sit down with him. Tell him call me, bro. Nah, Boosie. Boosie's scared to interview with me. I don't know why he's scared to interview with me. Because that's my home, but I'm a Bootsy fan. Yeah. Right? Bootsy. I don't know why, why he's scared to interview in with there? me. But, uh, you know, man, y'all Big follow Buddy. me at The Real TQ on Instagram. Man, look out for my, uh, look out for my um, first book coming out in November called Never Signed to a Rapper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go, to never, go to Never to a uh when, when you see this, man. This Peace. my man, Sam Beto. Tell him what yep. you represent. Yo, go to YouTube, go to Go Gate House, and follow all my content. We've got a lot of dope content on there. And Ground Voices on Discord. Yep. The most yep. popping Discord on Discord. Ground Voices yep. get all the we dirt. Lit. Yeah. We lit. Let's get it. Hey, hey Adam and Wax out. Show, also known as the Wack and Adam Show. Yep. There we go. We out here. Appreciate you guys. Love. Oh, it was love. Peace.